peace shout outs to everybody in my chat uh first to begin we got this stalker aj smith in the chat peace bro i don't know you man you're non-binary you know what i'm saying sloppy seconds was good zara b was going on miss mona was good you know what i'm saying so i mean look i ain't gonna even make this a quick live y'all i'm gonna obviously drop the link if y'all want to come through and speak to me and shit like that but um yeah so <laughs> yo like i got a couple of things to say i'm not gonna be long i just got a couple of things that's on my mind and i just want to just get it off right so let's start off with this shout outs to auntie um shout outs to auntie for doing that live today shout outs to the fight club um, let's just say this. I'm, I've been, I've been trying to understand this shit for a while, yo. What the fuck is with dudes bragging about the shit that they have on fucking panels? I've never understood that, and I refuse to understand it, because I don't understand what's the point. So you had this gentleman that was on there that was talking about, Nigga, what the fuck have you built? Look how much money I have. Da -da 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 -da. You see this hat? Black Lords, I'm selling it. And so I looked at it, I was just like, bro. Anybody can have a clothing business and make money off of it. I hate when Negroes do that shit and when people do that shit because I, I really do feel like watching the fight club sometimes you see a bunch of buffoons. So you go on there, like you go up in the chat and then it's like a course ran by Anton and the rest of them, right? And so you just sit there, you just be like, okay, it's about to be niggas, it's about to be niggas shit central, right? So dude is sitting up there bragging about how much he has and all this other stuff and about how he sells hats and about how he's going to fight people. I don't understand that shit either, right? I, I don't get it. Pardon me. Sorry. Secondly, the thing that I wanted to talk about, exactly, Miss Mona, bragging is so not cool. Like, I just think this shit is lame. Like, especially, like, what do you have to prove to, like, fellow avatars and, like, other people on StreamYard? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I've never understood that. Like, do you think you get more kudo points by trying to brag about your life on YouTube? Like, motherfucker, I don't know you. I don't want to know you. And the thing about it is, it's like, yo, bro, like, I could care less if you're selling random ass hats to random people. It's not angry, man, Zara B. It's really not. No, it's not. Sloppy Second says, when people brag about money online, more than likely they don't, they really don't. They really don't have it. And, and my thing about it is like this, man. I'm not in the way of anybody who has an entrepreneurship. You know what I mean? I'm not in the way of that. I don't feel any type of way about it. It's cool, yo. Like, get your money. You know what I'm saying? Do what you got to do. But, like, I've always thought it was corny. Like, people online sitting up there saying, I got this, I got that. Like, bro, like, I'm not falling for the okie doke. I could really care less. And I'm not trying. I don't want you to impress me. I don't give a fuck if you want to impress me. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? So, you seen him on there, you know, Auntie, shout out to Auntie again, because he set him straight, you know what I'm saying, had to tell homeboy about himself, and then he threatened to like, not Auntie, but the guy that was talking shit threatened to fight somebody, and I had to sit back and say, get the fuck out of here with that shit. Okay. I'm saying, I just, I wasn't feeling it. Like, why did you go out there and try to choose violence? You know what I mean? I just don't understand. So, so check this out, y'all. Besides that, I was just like, yeah. So my fault. Zara B says recently Fight Club. I lost respect for. I would like to know why that is, Zara B. Like why you lost respect for Fight Club. Like I wonder why that is. When I drop the link, tell me why. Um, and obviously Miss Mona and the rest of y'all come through. Josh Watson was good, man. What's going on, bro? So let me see. Kneeling for Anton, waiting for a drip of this diamond fleck come. Nah, corny to be on Anton's payroll. You have to bow down. Yo, that's crazy. That's crazy. So moving on. I was watching this week this sector by the name of the Manosphere currently have their beef and also talk about how um, the amazing Lucas... I saw three prominent characters last, no, four prominent characters last week or this week, right? Shout out to Wacky World of OTV, always doing his thing. Had to interview or had to pull up 
with the uh, whole entire hardcore Tito MOT. Uh, Amazing Lucas and Mr. Fantastic. As I told y'all before, and I'll tell y'all again, Bronzebird is not part of the Manosphere. I don't know who still has that idea in their head. Uh, probably a bunch of these lame-ass divested bitches that believe that I'm in the Manosphere. I'm not in the Manosphere. I'm, I'm good off that. You feel what I'm saying? I left like going on like maybe a year ago, probably two. I'm not in the Manosphere. But it was amazing to watch how much beef started to happen this week and about how they kept sitting up there talking about oh yeah red pill talking points seeing LTTV debate with <laughs> fatty team fatty and all this other stuff and then other people sitting up there talking about manosphere blah this and manosphere is that manosphere is fucking trash okay everybody's pretty much doing their own thing they don't give a fuck about what y'all saying the red pill this and the red pill that oh i don't want to fucking date the women did the and third i said fuck that i'm still dating i don't give a fuck about nothing you saying right now you know what i'm saying all i'm saying is is like bro like what the world is too small the world is too large to sit up there and be mad at the world because some girl rejected you from like 2005 bro like you still trying to harp on shit that happened like years and years ago bro so anyway, I was watching it, and I seen a couple of people beef, and the only thing I can think in my mind was, y'all still care about Keisha. Y'all still care about the ratchet woman. Y'all still care about Sukiyana that be sitting up there talking about her ass cheeks out there in London and trying to get her ass ate. You feel what I'm saying? And suck some dick. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't... I, I Yeah, Manosphere is a joke, man. Thank you, Josh, because I be feeling like that, like... They do it. They did it to themselves. They did it to themselves. And and like I said, I I used to be in the manosphere coming up when I first came in, only because I wanted to learn about incels, right? And so my thing about it is, when it came to the incel culture and all this other stuff, I started to understand it. But then incels got into this extremism where they started to sit up there and start talking about how they're gonna trans max. And how they're going to sit up there and not date women. They'd rather date men. And all this goofy shit. Like, I don't understand why you decide to be a transformer from this whole entire shit. But that's what you decide to do. Shout out to Exile One in the building. I see you, bro. But, yeah, I can't, I can't roll with the Manosphere because it's too unreal. And then the expectations is just completely shit. And I'm, I'm just about like, look, listen, I get it. It's the internet. But it's a lot of you older cats, and especially because I had a conversation about this a while back um, on one of my panels. I say it's the older Negroes that get on my fucking nerves. You understand what I'm saying? Shout out to Golden Goddess. I see you. But, like, shout out. Like, I've seen that, and I was just like, yo. I'm sorry. Like, I got a little bit of, like, beer in my system, so I'm, like, rambling, right? What I'm saying is... Manosphere Island Boys. See, the Manosphere, the Island Boys did some suspect shit. I'm just saying, they did some real suspect shit. But anyway, Manosphere, was, I was, okay, I got it. It was the older dudes that I had a problem with because it's like you're a Gen Xer and you're sitting up there talking all this fuck shit about how you got divorced and you'll never get married again and child support this and child support that. I seen some dude who usually is in his late 20s and early 30s. And he's sitting up there talking about child support and talking about marriage. And I'm sitting up there looking at him like, bro, you're not even fucking married, nor have you ever been in a relationship. You went to a dating show and admitted that you are a virgin. What the fuck do you know about women, bro? Like, what, what, what the fuck are you talking Shut about? Shut the fuck up. Like, if you don't, like, like, I hate how people try to come through and try to give this unwarranted advice. And then when you ask them what their relationship status is or if they ever had sex, they've never had sex before. They come online and live vicariously through their YouTube channels. And then when they sit up there and talk about come back to the community. What community, bro? You didn't sit up there and talk about how you wanted a white woman. So how are you going to sit up there and talk about the community when you don't even give a fuck to go out with a black woman? I don't understand. 
Pardon my back, yo. I'm just I'm just rambling. Of course, like I said, I'll send out the link and we can have a conversation. Wah, wah, wah. You know what I'm saying? Yes, Miss Mona is a simp. She's a simpette. I already understood her whole entire profile. Miss Mona knows she's a simp. And she simps for the right man. But anyway, <laughs> shout outs to the shit show in the building. What's going on, bro? Please do me a favor to shit show. Send me your Discord. I gotta get you on Discord. You in exile. I think I gotta ask. I don't know how to work this Discord shit. But I need whoever got Discord. Make sure when y'all come up on the panel, let me know if y'all got Discord. You understand? Golden Goddess says all these single people have so much dating advice. Absolutely. Like, if I've ever talked about dating or whatever and stuff like that, number one, it's because I've been through the whole entire dating process. I've been in relationships, right? And then also the fact of the matter is, besides that, I know my limits. You got single people sitting up there talking on marriage. Like, what the fuck are you doing? You know what I mean? And then, like, the, the whole entire dating aspect, when I used to see strags on these goddamn YouTube streets, sit up there and talk about, you know, what your, what your pants size, what your suit size, and, you know, uh, what your, what your, what your, how much you earn a year, and all this other stuff. It's like, come on, man. Sit down. Be humble. You know what I'm saying? It's not you, fam. You don't know what you're doing out here. You will never be Kevin Samuels. Rest in peace. You understand? That's not you. So when y'all when y'all sit up there and have all these conversations, it's like, bruh, a lot of y'all is just dick riding. You know what I'm saying? Oh shit, that's just Jay? I didn't even know that was you. Damn, son. I was wondering, I'm like, how do you it's, it's you you spoke to me on another chat like you knew me, and I was like, oh shit, that's you? <laughs> Shout outs to just Jay. Are you amused? Uh, are you amused? I think you see me on LTTV when uh, I was sitting up there trolling in the chat against LTTV when he was sitting up there talking about Team Fatty and about how he was um, sub-shaming him. About how I thought it was like mad fucked up when he was just sitting up there. Uh, <laughs> you damn right I'm a panty lover. You understand? But anyway, like I said, when I was on that stream and I was trolling in the chat, <laughs> he's, like, he's like, he's like, you know he's a clout chaser. And all this other stuff, yo, like, I was seeing that, I started lying. She was like, oh, why, why, why are you sitting up there? Yeah, I was, yeah, I'm gonna subshame him when he's talking shit about my channel. Get the fuck out of here. Shout out to LTTV. I just thought it was funny, yo. But, I mean, look, look, listen, I get it. Everybody just wants to go ahead and make their own channels, make it seem like they know all this red pill shit. And then how about how you had, uh, what you call it? Amazing Lucas that was sitting up there talking to Mr. Fantastic and the rest of them, BGS and the rest of them. It's like, oh, well, hold on. Shout outs to the twin. What's up? No, nobody was talking about my channel. I mean, recently motherfuckers was talking shit about me. Uh, are you amused? You know what I mean? It's nothing new. Bunch of bitch ass niggas that sit up there and want to come on my pan or to sit up there and talk about, oh, yeah, Bronzebird, you don't get views. You don't this, that, and the third, and blah, 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 and all this other dumb shit. And they sit up there and come around on my panel and come around in my channel and be watching me, man. They, they, the motherfuckers be watching me. Like, stop capping. Y'all dead be fucking watching me. And then y'all sit up there and talk about, you don't get no views, though. Nobody be watching you. Oh, yeah? But your dumbass was sitting up there watching me, sitting up there talking about the things that I was talking about. Shut your goddamn mouth, boy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know one of them in mind, they just be talking shit. You know what I mean? I, I don't get it, and I don't understand. But back to what I was saying. You got these red pill fools, these people who sit up there and talk about all this red pill shit. You've immediately taken off the culture about red pill. You're not red pill. You will never be red pill. You can understand what red pill is if you snuck it up your ass. You're not red pill. You understand? So I, I get aggravated because it's like essentially when it came to red pill talking points and all these different things, it was never supposed to be primarily about women. And y'all know that. You know what I'm saying? I've talked about that a thousand times. You understand? Like, <laughs> like, like y'all not red pill, fam. Red pill is not supposed to be all about women. Not to the point that you are scared to talk to women. You understand? I never understood that and I never will. Uh, brief announcement too. 
there's supposed to be two lives that's going on tonight, so I'm kind of doing a pre-show for them. Uh, first and foremost, uh, my twin, Culture Invasion Podcast, is supposed to be having a stream tonight. Please check that out. Secondly, uh, uh, Killer Swag and Sweet Melody Speaks is supposed to be having a uh, panel tonight. That's supposed to be a prep up for their show tomorrow, so please check that out. Yes, I agree, Miss Mona. I would describe myself as black pill if I'm talking about pills, but I talk about herbal pills or I talk about berry pills because I get my berries as a bird. You understand? And, and let's say something to that too. She says, it's better to have 20 people in the chat that support you than 100 hate watchers. But you know what, Golden Goddess? I allow it all. You know what I'm saying? I would love for there to be haters in my chat and people who support in my chat. You understand? So, like, my, my thing about it is I'm very cool with that because I want you to hate. I want you to come on my panel and say how much you don't like me because I've already dealt with that. You know, certain people who's coming around now, you know what I'm saying, that didn't support the, supported the boy at first, dissed me, and then now they want to come back around and you still have about three, four people in your chat. And I'm not talking shit. I'm not, I'm not trying to talk shit about your page. It's just like you can have three, four people in your chat. I usually have three, four people in my chat. You understand? Sometimes there's good days. Sometimes I can get 20. Sometimes I can get 27. Never reached 30 yet, but someday I will. You know what I'm saying? And then you have Brownie Ellie, who always constantly talks shit in my chat. I never understand why. It's like you come over here with the bullshit and then want to be able to sit up there and talk about, oh, I'm hate watching. Get the fuck out of here, yo. I know you be hating, you be capping, you be sitting up there bothering me, and then you know AJ be saying some suspect shit. I know all y'all, you know what I'm saying? Coming over here, bothering Bronze Bird. And I'm a peaceful bird, but then y'all make me want to get violent. What's up with that? E-A-P A Cap Cap C-A-P Cap Miss Mona says, I've never reached 10, Bronzy. E A P A Cap Cap C A P Cap You know what I'm saying? It's all a cap, right? So look, listen, I ain't got no more talking. I just wanted to let that off my mind. You know what I'm saying? Hit this damn link. You know what I'm saying? Hurricane JW, what's going on, man? You know what I'm saying? Hit this damn link. You know what I'm saying? This is technically like a pre-show. I owe, I, I owe y'all a brownstone powwow. You know what I'm saying? Big up to the haters. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Word up. You know what I'm saying? Dead ass, dead ass, dead ass, dead ass, dead ass. <laughs> Words to my haters, yo. Anybody who's hating on Bronzebird, I enjoy it, man. Cut that bitch off. Next caller. So yeah, I'm about to drop this link, man. You know what I'm saying? Come through. Come come with your boy. You know what I'm saying? What's up, y'all? Hit this damn link when I drop it, yo. Please, please hit this link. You know what I'm saying? Come and have a conversation with me. Let's talk about whatever. I'm like, just... I just got a little bit of like licks in the system. You feel me? So come through, chat with me, you know what I'm saying? I'm waiting on y'all, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I wanted to talk about that. Everybody sitting up there talking about cloud chase of this, cloud chase of that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what, Exile? I know about the shit show has all the haters and all this other stuff, you know what I mean? But he holds it down though. Shout out to the shit show because I already understand in that community is a lot of stuff going on, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah, I'm gonna pin it now. I'm, full. I'm fucking it up. Um, shit, I gotta go ahead and do this really quickly. Y'all know I'm type slow. <clears throat> Damn. Hold on, y'all. All right, got y'all. The link is pinned. Come through to the chat, man. You know what I'm saying? Where y'all at? Where y'all hiding? Hit this damn link. What's up? You know what I mean? I don't know who the gay friend is, Miss Mona, but yes, I do have a Discord. I haven't really posted it on there a lot. 
I know I get like a thousand messages from different people like, oh yeah, this, that, and the third responded to you. Da da da, this, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, where y'all at, man? Hit this link. Know what I mean? Mona, you should be the first one hitting this link. Bring your ass up here. Bring your UK ass up here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, yo, let's talk about clout chasing, man. Why does everybody always talk about clout chasing on these YouTube streets, yo? Like, everybody has their own way of trying to put in their, their content. Whether I agree with it or I don't agree with it. You know what I mean? But I think a lot of the talking points get a little bit stale and get old. So that's the reason I try to I get a little bit aggravated. Like, y'all can talk about something different. Y'all can talk about, you know, what's going on in the world. Like, what's going on with Joe Biden if you live in America. I don't know what's going on in the UK except for Piers Morgan. And all that other stuff. Yes. Oh my God, Miss Mona. I just told y'all I have a Discord. Like, I have it. I, I gotta find it though, because I might have to add y'all to the Discord. So, yeah, y'all can y'all can add. I, once y'all come on here, put it in a private chat or put it in the link. I mean, put it in the um the chat, and then I'll I'll sit up there and. No, I'm not gonna delete it, Josh. I'm not gonna delete the dis the Discord, man. I'll just leave just leave the Discord in there, and then I'll add y'all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. Like I'm not gonna delete y'all shit. Come on, I'm being peaceful, Josh. Stop starting shit, bro. You lucky I got you modded, bro. Don't be starting shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, let's see, Zarbi says now nah, we have apps in our community acting like Kanye West having fucking meltdowns. They say they are freedom fighters. B, I'm feeling high. Are you sure I can join? Yes, bring your ass up here. Bring your ass. You know what I'm saying? I need some entertainment for like the next hour or two hours. I'm not trying to make this a lot, a long live stream anyway. I'm just trying to make this short. Old age pensioners. Nice. Thank you, Zara B. I appreciate that. Yeah, join the link. Come on, man. Where y'all at? Come on, don't make me feel like a sucker up here. Because I'm about to start playing music until y'all hit that link. You know what I'm saying? Where y'all at? Hit this link. You know what I'm saying? Hit this damn link. Nah, I'm not doing it for five hours because it's only because uh, there's a couple of people who's supposed to be streaming tonight. So, for instance, um, like I said, the twin is supposed to be streaming. Wherever the twin is at, yo, where where are you, bro? Because you said you're supposed to be uh, streaming at like six or something. No, you're supposed to be like eight or something like that. And like I said, Sweet Melody Speaks and the rest of them, they, they stream at like fucking um, eight. I fucking forgot. And hey, shout out to the people. Hey, what's going on? Miss Mona <laughs> and the shit show, what's going on? Hello, man. What's good? Hello. 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 Lovely, lovely to see. Lovely to see. Yeah. Yo, shit show. What's going on with you, bro? <laughs> what's uh, going on in these streets? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I ain't been on YouTube a whole lot. I've been popping in, popping out when I can. But, man, I've, I've been busy with work. So, my my, uh, my focus hasn't really been on uh, the YouTube or the YouTube streets. Um. But uh, just just wanted to throw it out there. Uh, I dropped uh, your link in my community tab, uh, so you might get some people to pop in from time to time uh, out of my community. Um, Thank you. Um, yeah. I mean, it's the least that I can do. I I, I like uh, I like to come by and listen to your uh, show every once in a while. I don't get to spend a whole lot of time on it because I gotta, you know, my 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 like your stuff is red pill urban stuff. Mine is more of uh, the drama. My, my, my community and the drama that's within their that community. So uh, a lot of my time gets spent on dealing with, well, who's fighting with who, who's doing this, who, who cheated on who, who, who's, you know, that kind of shit. Um, and, and so, um, but, you know, I, I like I said, I, I like your content, man. And um, obviously with Exile, he, you know, he comes by here too. And uh, I just wanted to throw it out there, man. I, I, I appreciate what you do. Um, and, Regardless, uh, like just my take on it. Regardless if people love you or hate you, you just run your show how you want to run it, man. <laughs> if you like it, you you enjoy the content. This, this, that, the other. Hey, just just you know, do your thing. Fuck everyone else. Uh, no, I love my haters. 
And, and the thing is, like, I was I was gonna say just that, man. Like, like when it comes to like the trolls and the haters and shit. Like, for me, I love that shit, man. Yeah, I love. Bro. You want to come by the show? You want to come hang out? Like, I'd say my 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 audience. Like, we might have a hundred people, one hundred fifty people in, in chat. And I mean, I can almost guarantee half of them are haters and and people that dislike me, this that. And so it, it's one of the reasons why when you're at my show, I always say like, you know, when when. Uh, if you can go give some love or give some hate, you know, love us, hate us. We don't care. Just go give us a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs down. Let us know how you feel. And, um, you know, but, uh, you know, regardless of how they feel, man, I'm going to treat my show, my show the same, whether I got five people in there or 500 people, you know, uh, um, and, and as long as you're authentic, as long as you true to yourself, man, it, it, for the most part, you know, you're going to have people that love that and appreciate it. And, uh, they'll come by and they'll see you, man. Yo, I wanted to say real quick, me and Miss Mona went over to Mike P's uh, <laughs> live the other day. Shout out to Mike P. That shit was bad funny. Ooh, we had a good time at Mike P's. <laughs> yeah, that was quite chill. Yeah, it was quite chill. I, I, can't think, I didn't think I've ever been over there. It was, it was really good. I but liked you it. Did. You was there. You was there when um, we was, was arguing with... You was there. Remember the first time we went over there? Exile mm. one, Exile one, and Eliza was there, and we was arguing with the, the guy that we thought was racist. And, he was quick, yeah. and then he was he was arguing against Quick Vic. Do you know who Quick Vic is, shit show? Oh, I know who Quick Vic is. I know how that whole group. Yeah. So he was sitting up there talking about Quick Vic said something racist, and I was yeah. just like, "Yo, like, why are you saying something racist, and why are you trying to take up for your white friends on a panel?" So we did that. <laughs> Trolled the shit out yeah, of me. I, got mad at no, me. I quite like I Not quite like that. I loved it. That's what I yeah, mean. I it's beautiful to troll. You know what I'm saying? And that's I know, why but we I, haven't, all get along. I haven't trolled. I haven't trolled for like a month. So it's like I'm really stretching my my wings again. Yeah. Yeah. It's, Mona Bird yep. is uh, stretching her wings again. Yeah, I totally you stretch my wings. I feel really stretched. That's right. That's right. Well, Miss Mona, I I don't know you that well. Um, I'll yeah. I'll just say my side of the community. Uh, so Mr. P and, and and the group in which that they associate with, they yeah. come out of like this one um, A community that's uh, associated with Vegas Valley Community Watch, and since they that whole community kind of broke up. Yeah. Um, they, there's been a bunch of those people that have ventured over to my side of the community, which mine is more of a troll, co troll and, uh, drama community. There's always right. a lot of, there's a lot of mess. So, and, <laughs> and like having, like having the, um, having these little groups mesh up and, and interact with one another creates so much content in all itself yeah. that I, 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 for me, I fucking love it. I, I love it when, when like, once again, I, I, I appreciate the drama. I'll say, I'll be one of the people that are on panel and will say, I love the drama. I love this YouTube shit. I love it. And uh, it's entertainment for me. I don't watch TV. Uh, this is my mm -hmm. form of entertainment. And so um, uh, getting to see like the different communities interact with one another, it's, it's interesting and it makes for good, uh, it makes good for good uh, Jerry Springer shows. Yeah, it does. So what's, what's the, um, what's the sector called or, um, I guess like it's kind of a like a melting pot of like one A yeah. community. When I say one A community, that's like the First Amendment guys, the guys that run around and call and and follow the cops around with cameras and right. say yeah. you know you know respect my right. It's, I'm 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 press and shit like that. And then you have people that are the trolls from that community, the people that I mean because hey, every every let's face it, every community's got their own set of trolls. Um, right. And then you've got yeah. people that are supporters, and you got people that are naysayers. So you got um, okay. the watchdog group. A watchdog group will will is the group <coughs> that kind of like does the opposite. They're the ones that keep the auditors in check. The piece, and yeah. So do you have like a link that you wouldn't mind putting in the chat or something? Um, if you do a search for the shit show, spelled S H uh, Y T, that'll be my channel. And then from there, like you can look on. Uh, my about page or the like the channels. I have a bunch okay. of channels that are listed that you can kind of sub to, Shit. and that'll get you started on um, some of the that sector. different different sector of, of right. uh, all these different little groups. Because, like I said, it's kind of like a melting pot. Like there's a bunch of different groups. 
Um, have you had an, um, uh, Bronzebird, have you had a chance to meet Sam Hill yet? No, I haven't. All right, get Exile to send you the link to the him. He, he's he's an interesting character. He's uh, he, he's an interesting one. Is he, um, is he worse than um the guy you showed me the first time you came through? Uh, I don't think so. No, Sam Hill's more of like a he's an older gentleman, um, and he just he's got a different take on stuff. But he's a little bit of a snowflake at times, so that that's the entertainment part of it. Um. Uh, so, but he's he's got his own little community. He's got his own little fucking little niche on stuff, um, and uh, but yeah, man. Like when I get a chance, uh, I, like I said, I've been working, but I'll I'll get you on Discord and I'll send you a bunch of the links and stuff to all these different communities, and yes. you know we'll we'll get we'll I get imagine. some more uh, we'll get some more meshing of these communities because I I this is where I want my I need my entertainment. I need my drama. That's what I'm saying. I don't like when you just say, you know what? I don't watch TV. Like YouTube is my TV now. You know right. what I'm saying? So I don't, I just be like, yo, what's the drama that's going on? And what's the fuck shit? Who am I gonna troll this week? You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Hey, sorry, I exactly. just wanted to say, Milan, I'm not drinking anything. Um, I'm just on drugs. Um, weed. No drinks today. Okay, sorry. You're saying so. Um, why is wait, you see the drama? The drama, drama sector is it like a big sector or is do they docks over there um in my community there there's a little bit of doxing that goes on a little bit of real life stuff goes on it's not too bad like for the most part um like the swatting like you'll, yeah. you'll find some communities where they're like they're so triggered at stuff that they'll they'll try to like swat you call the cops on you it, it, some shit happens from time to time but it's i don't think it's as bad as some of the other sectors that i've run into um i, I like i know a sector because like me and exile we we like to venture out and go to different communities there's a sector that um their community is based on uh missing children and yes. they do deal yeah. with drama and so um, I go over there and hang out every once in a while. And to me, they're a more chill community, and their drama is mm. a little bit different. And so, like when I when I just like when I don't want the Jerry Springer stuff, I, I'll yeah. I'll take off and I'll go to communities like that. Yeah, I, when I'm bored, I take. I where do I go? I don't even want to say because I I don't want any muppets over there. But um, yeah, when I'm in my downtime, I tend to go to the. I like the Christian sector. I love going over there. Mm. Yeah, Christian sex is fun. I would say, like, when you speak on a drama community, there's there's yeah. usually a lot of different sectors that you would consider drama. Like, my yeah. sector, I guess you could call it a, dra a drama troll community um, that is associated with 1A. But I don't think we really named it. I, I've, I've, been, I've been telling people for a while now we need to name our sector because it's, it's just different. Um, but like, like for, uh, Krama, uh, which is the, um, um, crime, the, cr like the crime and drama community, like yeah, they got their own yeah. little drama sector, like they, own, like they have their own little shit, little slick. Um, you, you've got, uh, people that are, um, oh, let's see. Uh, there's a. There's a tr there's a community called the Truth Community. Those are the guys that uh, talk about like Bigfoot seekers. and UFC Truth yeah. Seekers. Yes. Yeah, I like those communities. And also the, the one you know, Sa they've got the Sa the Sandra Bland. I think it's Sandra Bland. Mm -hmm. Trying to find the truth about that. So, so like you said, there's so many communities, but I tend to like trolling. I tend to like the troll troll community. <laughs> Shout out to all my trolls and all my trollettes. Hashtag trolls uh -huh. life. Hashtag um the trollership. The we welcome you. Yes. We welcome you. Exactly. So, yeah. It's good, man. Mm -hmm. it's I look at it like this, Bronze Bird. You already got more people on your panel than half the motherfuckers talking shit. No, nah, hey, listen, bro. I'm not I'm not look listen, no, I'm saying this in regards because I was saying I'm happy because the dudes that be that was talking wild shit. It's cool, right? Because they know that when it comes to my shit, they started here first. So I was like, all right, cool, talk shit. It's cool. 
I just want to see if you're going to sit up there and have that same energy, right? And besides that, it's already someone I'm trying to troll right now. So I'm just trying to see the temperature and how far I'm going to get this summer because it's already a hot summer with the fuck shit that's going on. Every time motherfuckers say that shit, oh, you don't even got that much of a following, bro. They don't understand. It just find, it takes that creator finding the right way for them. Anybody out here can literally get a following no matter who the fuck you are. There's somebody of your caliber watching that will subscribe. Of course. But that's what I'm saying. I'm not I'm not I'm not mad at none of this shit. I just find it funny. That's why I'm just like, yo, troll is life. Bro, I've seen channels struggle, have a few hundred followers for like a year or two, <laughs> and then take off in the thousands, bro. Where they yeah. got hundreds of people in the chat, bro. So like Anything could change at any moment. So when people say that, they only make themselves look like a fool when somebody's in this shit for the long haul and shit. I take you as one of them creators. You know, you're gonna be around here for a minute. Oh yeah, I ain't going nowhere. It's, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a long while before a bronze bird ever flies off for good. You know what I'm saying? Part of this sweet sorrow. Mulatto, what's going on? Mulatto Vanguard. Hey, what's going on, man? Peace, bro. Hey, I'm not sorry. I just wanted to hop up and say what's up. First time on the panel. But I think I seen you around somewhere, Bronze Bird. I'm not sure like what sector. But like I said, I'm all over the place. So what's Me up? Me too. Yeah. I just I try to troll to different places. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like, you know, certain people I love to troll. So <laughs> it's been a it's definitely been a dope like time just being like, fuck it. I'm going to just go. See, but a lot of people still associate me with Manosphere. Like, I was like, nah, I'm not Manosphere no more. I'm out of that. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's, if it's entertaining con uh, content, you know, then I'm definitely digging some of that stuff. Yeah, that's all it is. I try to give a mix, you know what I mean? But it, obviously, when it comes to this, I just want to be able to just have everybody have the floor with something and I just be like, I, all I ask is just be appropriate on a like, panel. Like, don't do fuck shit. You can troll me if you want. Just obviously no fucking porno bombs or nothing. Why do I feel like usual? My volume is super loud and other people's is low. You need to turn your mic up, Bronze. I can barely hear you, fam. Can you hear me? Nah. I, can, yeah, I think I can that's you, homie. Really? Are you yeah, sure? I can hear you. Hey. Next time, you yeah. a little loud. It could, um, it could, I could be connecting wrong. Yeah, what's going uh, on, man? Brian, um, man. I'm going to jump down here in just a second. Uh, mm -hmm. Real quick, I, I did drop my link in the back. Like I said, if you go over to my my page, there's a there's a few channels that you can kind of um, sub to and, and check out the different different communities and stuff. I got um um I'm I actually I have a, a Discord, but I don't have a Discord server, so like I usually jump into other people's shit. Um, so if you add me on Discord, um, I think it's just um, I think my handle's just Authority Check. Uh, Authority Check. Yeah, I don't. There, I don't. I don't remember there being any numbers behind it. But if you just, uh, I sent you, you do that. Ham with the uh, Poly Shore. If you add that, I'll, I'll just send you AC's link and connect you to him. But yeah, bro, that's what happened. I was looking for that uh, shit a couple weeks ago to find a certain receipt I knew was in that motherfucker. I'm like, did this motherfucker eat the damn Discord? <laughs> See, I don't know, but it's weird because when I try to add certain people on Discord, it's like Discord don't be having it. I'm like, I don't know. I still got to well, feel like I still work it. Some people have it set up where you have to be in a server or a friend of a friend so that way yeah. you can add them. But uh, I think I thought I turned that off. I'll, I'll have to go again. look. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll have again. to go look. It's all good. But um, yeah, like, like I said, I got to jump down. I got to do some work stuff. Little, I got to make some money. Okay, have a good day. Uh, uh, Miss uh, um, Mora? Mona. Mona. Yeah, Mona. Sorry. Yeah. I, I'm, my, my screen's a little small and I can't see shit right now. And who was okay. the other guy that just yeah. jumped on? Mulatto Vanguard. Mulatto Vanguard. It was good meeting y'all. Uh, Exile will be around. Hit me up, homie. Uh, I, I, I might be able to go live later tonight, but. But, man, I ain't gonna lie, it's been busy as hell, so we'll see those. No, okay, it's all good. Oh, I see you soon. Peace, peace man. Do, I'll try to catch peace, you, bro. Peace, I'm peace, peace. Peace. Peace, peace, peace. Yeah, what's up? Uh, who Who's talking just now? Oh, I don't know what just happened. Hey. Oh, shit. Bro, 
Thank you for coming through, bro. I don't be seeing you in my chat, bro. Hold the truth hostage. Mm -hmm. Thank you, brother. I don't know yeah, if you want to touch on the manosphere, right but I would love to hear your opinion about the things that was talked about. Uh, he says, the thing is, man, just being a man of logic, you will end up associated with the manosphere. All it takes is saying what's wrong against men, and bam, you're in the manosphere. Respect, man. Had to drop by. Thank you for dropping by, HTTH. Thank you. I mean, yeah, I mean, if you speak in a certain way and you're opinionated nah, nah, about nah, stuff. No, 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 I will not co-sign to that. If you speak about shit like that and you're knowledgeable of that shit, you're just a man. You ain't in no damn manosphere. No, what he's saying the is they will associate you. Man. They'll associate you with the manosphere. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Certain and I'm just talking like, points here it. get you thrown in certain communities, even if that ain't the one you started in. And that's what I'm saying. It's like, why, like, why associate? Like, I'm like, nah, I'm just, you know, I just talk my talk. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not, you know what I mean? I'm just cooling. So it's just like, you know, certain people, especially strags, excuse me, old ass strag women or struggle women talking shit. And those men, older men too, they'd be like, yeah, Bronze Bird is an incel and he's in the manosphere. He's an incel manosphere content creator. And I'd be like, bro, that's not me, fam. Like, don't lie on my name, son. I don't enjoy that. You yeah, well, that. Whore Maxer is a motherfucking. Uh, you know, uh, Whore Maxer. Uh, of that kind of <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he, 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 he's very intimidated by women, but puts on a false bravado. Wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Peace, Tampa Supreme. Yo, did you really say. And I got you, mulatto. You can jump in after. Uh, so you, you send you whore maxer. We're talking about whore maxer. He's he one... intimidated by women. That's where that personality and persona of a super dickhead towards women come from. But he's also into he, trannies. He's in, he's insecure in his manhood, bro. Just like you know, a certain channel that you associate with. I call them motherfuckers a bunch of incels, and you know what channel I'm talking about. Put it in the back chat. I might know. What, cha what channel? I want to know. Yeah, tell me. I mean, oh, well, fuck it. I'll say it. Smash TV. I think oh, that's a bunch shit. of that. shit. Now what? <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> Yo. Well, what? A, I what went a, there. <laughs> yeah, tell it, tell it, tell it. You and uh, Mulatto and XL, y'all well, got it. I just want to say for a second, like, the thing is with the whole incel kind of slur, it's just a general slur they throw at men. It's like calling a woman a bitch or a slut. They, they they label any man an incel that they disagree with, right? Yeah. It's well, so it's common them, now. It's not a disagreement with them fellas. It, it's their actual behavior that behavior. falls along the contents of what an incel is. That's true, but I think it's really used generally now as well. But I see oh, what yeah, you're a saying. Lot of people throw it out there loosely, kind of like when someone calls someone else on social media their friend. That's a very loose term. Right, yeah, not for sure. But okay, tell me. Okay, Smash TV. What was? What, why? Why did you feel that way about Smash TV? Explain that. Me, I think I've had this conversation with you before. How you go have a conversation on women and relationship and how the relationship would work, and you're trying to keep a whole component out of it, unless you're trying to have a relationship with other men. Ooh, and you know the funny thing about that is one of the dudes that don't associate with them no, no more. I think his name is QB Passport. Just sat up there and did a diss like stream on them last night, and I was like, "Damn, yo, it's crazy." He was in my chat. He was sat up there and came in my chat before, and he was like, "Yo, like, I forgot that shit was fucked but bro, up." Bro, that's why I don't play the go along get along game. I just speak my mind, whether it gets me crucified out in this motherfucker or not. I'm gonna speak my mind. I respect that. True Finder UK, what's going on, bro? Yeah, HTTH says true incel has become just a normal thing to insult men 100%. Yeah, bro, like, it... yeah, they call a guy that gets pussy, they'll call him an incel just to you know slander his name. I mean, that's how bad it is. And they'll say yeah. dusty, dusty as well. A dude who's making you know 100k of living pretty good, they'll call him a dusty as well. I'm seeing that shit, I've been seeing it the last couple of years. Like, these are general slurs they throw out to disregard men. Incel, Dusty, Incel, Dusty which it, yeah. it does make sense for certain people. But like you said, the other cat said it's thrown out too loosely now, right? Yeah. 
I just yeah, said, yeah, yeah. They, they called me an incel for defending myself. They was like, yo, Bronsbird is an incel. But the, then, then it's always, especially Fight Club does this dumb shit. They just have conversations over and over again. Be like, you don't get no pussy. You don't get no pussy. And I'm like, okay, why do I feel like I'm in high school listening to you motherfuckers talk? Like, that, why, thank you, bro. <laughs> thank you. Like, is pussy water? Do, do you, you need pussy to survive in life? Like, is pussy food? I'm trying to understand the whole entire rhetoric with that. Like, bro, why? this is why I started trolling, bro. I was like, all these motherfuckers act like they in high school. Let me move it up to a college level. <laughs> Let me start hazing these motherfuckers. That's why we get along, bro, because it's all about trolling. Like, I'm just like, I have to troll them about the bullshit they said, but I know who my main target is now. You know what I'm but, saying? Yeah, I mean, my guy Mulatto, he's right, bro. You can have the house, the car, the picket fence, the dog, the family, the badass wife, and somebody on this motherfucker still call you an incel, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> I know. Make that shit make sense, man. I wish I could, bro, but I'm still looking for the answer myself. You, you won't find it, man. As long as they crowd around like dumbass motherfuckers like Andrew Tate and all the rest of the motherfucking Sneeko. Like, <laughs> and then and then you know you know fresh and fit watching him is like a total disaster oh my god like, <laughs> i can't stand watching they don't fresh have and de fit. laguna on their panel talking Shit. to talk they talking with them younger girls bro that that was a joke in itself i mean like who who is just on that show that 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 ass called them out I forgot it was some girl that was on there that called him out, but I was like fresh and fit. Like I, I can't with them, yo. That's always the same shit, and it's just yeah. like, I don't want to hear it, bro. I Man, don't. I, st I stopped listening to them cats like the end of 2020 or beginning of 2021. I got tired of the same shit, just ratchet hoes, same conversation. I got bored of that <laughs> shit really quick. All right, mulatto. I was sitting there on the show. I was sitting up there looking at the show like. Oh, this chick is an OnlyFans model. OnlyFans, OnlyFans, OnlyFans. Yep. Bird brain, OnlyFans, bird brain, OnlyFans. Oh, the chick, OnlyFans. All OnlyFans <laughs> bitches. All OnlyFans. OnlyFans yeah. bitches, yo. I was like, That's what it. the fuck? Like, I, I just can't. Like, shout out to Trilla TV. Uh, it says, H, hold on. Let me see. My fault. I meant to get the other one. I just seen your comment. Jay, peace in the building, my brother. What's going on? Realize TV was going on, man. But yeah, like back to what we was talking about. It's just like this whole entire bravado. They sit up there and talk about, oh yeah, well, you know, we having conversations about the man, 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 man. And you're only a man if you make a certain amount of money so that you can go ahead and show it off to other women. Get the fuck out of here. I don't want to hear that fucking bullshit. Like it's more to life than that. You you concentrate on yourself, obviously, but these dudes come out here and just say some wah wah shit, bro. I sit back and I listen. I, I this is what I think. Stop it. Get some help. I'm saying that's what bro, I think about I, it. I think motherfuckers got what a man is mixed up with what a man really is, bro. These motherfuckers trying to account a man to his wealth and shit like that. You got men that got wealth, but another motherfucker telling them what to do with it. <laughs> how to make it and everything else so them motherfuckers is pretty much a de definition of a a fucking oh, a servant to people around them that's not a man you that's know what i'm saying at all uh realize what's going on before you begin shout outs to the anti-social anti-social socialite podcast i meant to say this I know you was preaching a couple of times against the Manosphere dudes. You know what I'm saying? I saw that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she was delivering sermons and shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I, I peeped that out. Um, fuck. But the, lastly, because I think somebody was talking, Josh was sitting up there talking about never been to that whack channel, never will. It's trash. It is trash. Like, to have an 11-hour panel when you talk about submission and you sit up there and talk about, as a man, I'm supposed to lead. How am I supposed to be leading women from panels, bro? Can you explain that? Like, I'm well, supposed to tell a woman to get submission. 11-hour stream, and none of them women are even willing to submit to you on your stream. No, they just want to argue, and then this course is about the super chats. It's just like what I saw last night. You had some fucking dumbass fuckboy that came over, that was on the stream talking about, what have you built? You know what I'm saying? I took vacations. I own a business. I said, okay. You own a business where you sell trucker hats that has the label of whatever your company is called. I'm not knocking it because I believe in business, but please stop with that shit. 
I don't know who the fuck you trying to impress with that whole ass shit. What's going on, Realize? Like, I want you to yeah, get in. Yeah, if you don't speak like that, at least it should be beneficial for others as well. <laughs> I know, but, but you know, it, it is what it is. Realize what's going on and hold the truth. Thank you for coming through. I'm going to let y'all go. A whole, uh, realize, go ahead first and then hold the truth. What's good? What's good with you, brother Bronze? Hey, man, salute to you, man. Hope you and your family is doing well. Thank salute you. to everybody on the panel. Hope you guys uh, and your families are doing well, man. Salute to the gods and the goddesses. You know, it's all love, man. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I'm just, I'm, I'm going to come always keep it real. You know, just bring my viewpoint. And uh, I'm really just listening. For right now, you know how I get down, bro. I'm going to come listen thoroughly before I give any input. But y'all got to give me a second to just, you know, yeah, sit back and listen to everybody's, to everybody's, you know, everybody's, you know, thought process and what they feel about it and, then I'll chime in on how I feel. Oh, it's like uh, what Ludacris said in, in a song once. He's like, gotta coordinate. You know what I'm saying? I got you. Hold the truth. Uh, hostage, welcome, brother. I'm glad you came through, man. What's uh, up, man? Man, I had to stop by, man. I heard what you were talking about earlier. And to me, man, um, I think a lot of men don't see what's going on, man. Is that why would another man, like if the homie Bronze Bird got a mansion, or a big car. If I'm a heterosexual man, like, why would why would that why would Bronze Bird be bragging about that to me? Like he's gonna be taking care of me. You know what right. I'm saying? Like a lot of people don't see the flip that a lot of these dudes be doing on here with a lot of this closet activity where they're bragging to another man about what you have. Like, what does that do for me? Like, I'm not here for you to take care of me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not look. I'm not. I don't have like a poster that says I need a man to take care of me. So what does that do to another man? You know what I'm saying? There's so many guys that's feminine up in here on the internet that they talk to you like, like you a woman or something, man. Like they trying to oh, yeah. take care of you. They offering you services or something like that. You know what I mean? And I don't think a lot of guys catch on to that. And then they get surprised that, you know, this man wants to see your face and all this stuff. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, you know, it's like YouTube's become, remember I used to look up at Craigslist and see that dark area, like, you know what I mean? Looking for some weird activity. That's right. what YouTube's become, man. There's a lot of people searching for what they used to do on Backpage. Now they on YouTube. I agree. Oh, shit. Come back up, bro. The link is pinned. Um, also, by the way, HTTH, uh, make sure uh, you get my email because I'm trying to get you for a show in the future. Uh, CIP, and y'all can jump in if y'all want. CIP says, hit the cash app. Hit the cash app. I'm going to stop the show. Yo, can, I up, nigga? That? can I speak on that real quick, man, on this cash app shit? Yeah. <laughs> and then... <laughs> okay, hey, let me let me let me just speak. I'm gonna I'm be real. I'm gonna be real quick on this, y'all. But I gotta speak on it because y'all spoke on the cash app thing, right? Yeah. What kills me, right, is if people, if people really enjoy your content, they gonna hit the cash app. They gonna fuck with you. If they fuck with you, they fuck with you. Right. You know what I'm saying? But what kills me is the motherfuckers that you know you might you might enjoy their content. But then you you might be like, man, goddamn, how, like how many times you gonna ask me for a goddamn donation in this one stream, in this right. one video? Like, god, goddamn, my nigga. I mean, I I, I mean, shit. I want to send you one, but you didn't ask twelve goddamn times, and now it's kind of making me feel like I'm not sending you shit, even though I still enjoy your content. Stop asking, bro. Like I feel like this, bro. If people fuck with you, they fuck with you. They gonna they gonna they're gonna do it because they fuck with you. They fuck with your content. Niggas, 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 niggas. Stop goddamn begging. Because it makes other niggas not want to fucking fuck with you, nigga. Stop begging, my nigga. Hey, yo, yo, you got to remember there was a song. Yo, yo. You got to remember there was a song called Begging. Up, <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> baby, for you here now, baby. <laughs> Boy, the fuck me up is they got a hundred thousand a year job. They can't pay for stream yards and they begging with the cash app the whole stream. It's That's like, it's it sound like those up. motherfuckers. It sound like the motherfuckers I see every day on the fucking A train. Please, like fucking the Spike Lee film. Please, baby, please, baby, please, baby, baby, please, baby, please, baby, please, baby, 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 please, baby, 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 please, baby, baby, please. Sound like fucking panhandlers in my own fucking city where I'm taking the A train home. Get the fuck out of here, yo. You hear that fuck shit, nigga? Like we're trying. Yeah. Not trying to hear that whole shit, bro. Greg, what's good? Jump in. I why I see it too much, man. Y'all, y'all go ahead. Y'all go ahead. My bad, yo. Yeah, Greg, what's good? Jump in, bro. Oh, you, you chilling? All right, my fault. All right, hold on. I recognize Bird, bro. I see you, man. I just want to put this up to be sure with you. You sound low, though. Yeah, your mic is fucked up, yeah, bro. Your, your mic is low, G. Hey, Bird. Yo, what's, what's good? good? Okay, cool. What's good, man? Yeah, what's up, How man? You doing? Okay, it's better. It's better. Go ahead, G. Yeah, no, it's crazy. Uh, I think I might have some latency issues or something going on. How you guys I, doing? Ah, you're good, bronze bird ain't gonna bird ain't gonna fuck with you. Oh, and, nah, I got it. It's the nah, family hey, now because it's, it's bronze it's, bird and hey, bird. You know what I'm his saying? Talons, his, hey, he, he can put his talons away. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, I had the AK forty seven on me. Like, don't fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> look, look, hey, good, my nine good. is sitting on my lap right now. No, I'm just kidding. Do it. <laughs> oh man, I mean that, that ain't nothing new. Everybody's packing in America today, right? <laughs> got to, yo. Fuck you, Joe Biden trying to take away shit. You better be. Joe, with Joe Biden trying to take away shit, absolutely, oh. bro. If you are an American, spirit. if you are an American and you don't have a gun to protect your home, I don't know who the fuck you are. I, I'm gonna tell you like right, this: you never me, lack like, hey, the 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 yeah, 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 We're in the East Coast, man. You know what I mean? Like New York it. is wild, and they don't let us have guns like that. Uh, yeah, that's a problem. Our New, right? our New York, man. Y'all, 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 hey, you know what I got to say to that? You know Kathy what I got Hope to say to that? My brother said, said no. You said something about New York. Oh, you said New York don't allow guns, nigga. Move. Yeah, I, uh, I, 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 I'm I do. I New York. I do want to move. I think it brings up a bigger point. Like, why does uh, state have the ability to take away what's uh, constitutionally protected? Right. Hey, you know, right. fucking That's Kathy Hochul and the whole degenerate uh, Democratic uh, uh, field uh, over there, and especially uh, Eric Adams. Uh, uh, oh, hold up. Yo, all these motherfuckers are not They're all What happened, Bird? I'm sorry, hold on, under, y'all. What happened, Bird? the Constitution, that makes them tyrants, though, bro. Yeah, right. Well, they've right. been tyrants ever since the Karina, bro. Like, ever since the Karina started, the Blasio started yeah, shit. Oh, man, man. Uh, uh, but yo, but yo, Bronze Bird, man. I heard New York, y'all don't, y'all ain't allowed to carry guns. Y'all just got flaming hot Cheetos to throw around the niggas <laughs> when y'all feel offended. <laughs> Hold the truth. We chucking. Yo, hold the truth. We chucking Arizona cans at people. That's what we doing. <laughs> so you talking shit? <laughs> Let me throw this fucking Arizona can at your ass, huh? Smacking niggas with Arizona cans, good. Smacking motherfuckers with Henny bottles, bro. Hey, dog. That's funny. That's nah, making that's sense why, why 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 niggas why the reporter Arizona's going up in New York. It makes sense. Yeah, it's not even a dollar no more. Right. And then they did then, then they did dollar pizza dirty, bro. Like now it's a dollar twenty five, dollar fifty for oh, pizza. Hold on. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, what is it for the bus though, cuz? No, let me ask you something. I, Cause I, I know back in the day, right? Yeah. I'm from Michigan, right? Back in the day it used to be twenty five cents to ride the bus. Now it's like Two, three dollars type of shit. Yeah. They, they, they just raised the fare. They just raised the fare for the agency over here for the MTA. It used to be twenty. What is it? Twenty, like twenty two seventy five is two ninety. God we, get a, we get a fair hike every year. So Bro, not only that, and then, and then rent increases is like ten to twenty percent. They just mm-hmm. increase the rent in New York. I'm I, I plan wild. on moving. Hey, I Listen, plan on moving everywhere anywhere. though too. From the Jersey, Listen, man. They doing that. They doing it. They doing it. Depends in Jersey though. It depends. They doing it down in Georgia Jersey too, bro. City, man. Jersey, Jersey City, man. Jersey City is good. Though. I'm talking Jersey City off the path because if I was yeah, yeah. over there. 
Because their, their, their apartments is pretty nice, though. Is it yeah, like mean, you talking 1200 to 1500 What I'm hearing is we're right. at a situation in history where if you don't own real estate, your window of opportunity on profit on real estate is pretty much gone. Yeah, it's, well, it's well, well, let's evaluate that. Like, Let's ask the, the, the premium question. Is it deflation or devaluation, or is it you know more inflation? And then is there a difference? <laughs> Can I ask you, brother, something on some real shit? Can I ask y'all something? And this goes to everybody on the panel. Have any of you brothers sat back and thought about um, going out into your uh, community and trying to organize people to come together to uh, maybe buy some land or create a business? Y'all want to go? Definitely not. Definitely not. I have I've had discussions, but shit, motherfuckers in my hood don't want to move when it's something proper. You, you nah, nah, nah. Yo, 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 that, that, I'm going to tell you that. You got dead that, man. You know, Martin Luther King ain't succeed doing that. So, <laughs> what, what we going to be just, doing? No, you know no, what I mean? Listen, I'm not trying to be funny. Y'all all, listen, yo. I'm not trying to be funny. I was just asking no, a question. Serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not saying that. I'm going to say this. Niggas in my hood ain't what it is. They really not with that either. But as long as we keep trying to keep talking to people and keep on, you know, putting the word out, you know what I'm saying? I think. But all that talk. Talking stuff, bro. No offense, oh, because of where hold I'm on. from. Oh, I, but see, the way I move, the way I move is I'm showing people. You feel me? I'm no, not just that. talking. I'm no, showing. No, no. So, you know, but yeah, go what ahead, I'm saying go ahead, is what you're doing is correct. But where I'm from, where I live now, it's all fucking gentrification. They all in up and arms because they see white people running outside with biker shorts and fucking sneakers. You know what I'm saying? Oh. And then so they just want to be able to keep their goddamn apartments. Gen X and baby boomers uh -huh. who don't want to move out the nah, projects. And then want to sit up there and talk about, oh, well, we should support black business. Nah, you oh, support that. Yo, 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 and the fucking Bronze Dominicans Bird. with the shops, bro. Bronze Bird, you got, you got, you got, you got to hum when you talk like that, man. It's, uh, you know what I mean? You got to do, you got to bring back that old school humming, man. When you talk about the struggle, like. Nah, but, but, but what you're saying is some real shit, though. You know what I'm saying? That's like for real, man. I feel for like me, singing "Wait in the Water." Yeah. <laughs> Wait in the water. In the water. Wait in the water, in the water children. Wait in the water. Children. Children. Wait in the water. Oh, God is hey, gonna carry me. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. What are you doing? You you said pretty it. much all this shit went to uh, shit around the cor uh, coronavirus time. Yeah, you did. Yes, yes, yeah. round the rona, round the rona. Oh yeah, yeah, my bad, my bad. Oh, you call it Karina, man. You guys realize what happened, right? Anyway, you know, you hey, know, hey, Bird bro. here got in quite a bit of trouble with the CDC for auditing them around that time. Man, I'm Bird, quiet. Good, Bird. good job, Bird. Good job, Bird. Thanks for that. Yeah, actually, actually, to be honest with you, dude, I nailed them three days before the outbreak hit America, man, and uh, I wound up in the world of legal trouble over it. But uh, yo, yo, think about this. When all these problems started, right, with this inflation, devaluation of currency, and so forth, when you evaluate it, what happened, right? And check this out. Like I'm, I'm a, I'm, I'm a libertarian, right? Not a liberal, a libertarian. Okay. Hey, uh, libertarian I, I would say that. Liberal, if you ask me. Like, like I, I would say that I, I venture into the conservative viewpoint more than any. If I, if I were to kind of, you know, put it, put it out there. But you got to understand, like. When President Trump signed that six point two trillion dollar deficit that he created as a stimulus, we didn't really see none of that money. What, what did America get? Like a thousand bucks, two thousand bucks yeah, per shit. person? Yeah, yeah right. Most of that money, most of that money was funneled out of America and is now being used to actually take over uh, the creation of resources in Africa, so they can force them into the modern Western civil yep. civilization yep. style yep. of living with AC units and so forth. Now, and they did it through the tro tro they do it by Trojan horse tactics and stuff like that. Yep. That's so, so, so you got, ain't going down like that, so, dude. <laughs> well, what you got, what you guys got to realize though, is that th this this is literally decades decades of debt slavery that we just signed into like whether you realize it or not right like the effects that we're experiencing right now are just the beginning and this is how you burst the fiat bubble to force everybody into a new monetary system this is the transfer of wealth this is where he who has gets more and he who doesn't have is stricken down into poverty because of it 
Mm-hmm. Uh, I got a question. I got a question. I got a question. Right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Right. Last time we seen something yeah. like this was in 1903, and it took a few generations to feel the effects. But you're seeing the effects nowadays, where it has to be two parents in the household working just to hold just, the whole house. Well, that was that was okay. what they did. Like they, they do that every time they liberate freedom, right? Like check it out. Like uh, we we free, freed us, uh, you know, men from slavery, right? What had happened there? They they cut the economy in half. They forced men to work for lesser wages, and then they yeah. ultimately just made everybody under the same umbrella. After that, right? Everybody experiences those penalties. We liberate women's rights, and then it takes two incomes to run the same household that we were able to function on on one income, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, Dude, now you start stupid. looking at the rest of this. The, the the transfer of wealth though is, is a different ball game, right? Like originally it started out with Love commodity, like so we would beg and barter, right? Like I'll give you six eggs if you give me a chicken back. You know what I mean? Bam! All right. of a sudden I got a chicken. I can lay more eggs. I can I can work from there. Now we went from that to a gold standard. Then we went from the gold standard into a fiat standard. There's not a society to date that hasn't okay. experienced the bursting of the fiat currency bubble and is by design. Like it's a setup for failure, and it's a setup to make sure that we all stay broke and working. Well, well, well I, don't, I don't say with that, man. I think the thing is, man, we had Obama in '08 with the housing. You know what I mean? With <laughs> with, with whatever Bush did. Yo, let, yeah. let's just be let's just be honest, man. Yo, ain't it ain't Trump's fault? It's all a political thing. They do whatever they want. And they're all on the same side. Are, oh, oh, they're on the same, same field. They're on the same people, team. You get people oh. here fighting over nothing, dog. Yeah. I, God simple, damn man. it. I got a question. Hey, man, AFC, wait, 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 AFC wait, versus wait, NFC. Yo, it's still the yo. NFL. Yo. 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 Wait, 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 wait. Y'all, hold on, y'all. Hold on. Let him, let him, let him finish uh, and then realize. Go ahead. Uh, yo, the American dream, man, it's, it's become like a last boss in a video game with infinite health, man. You, you <laughs> got to be crazy to be thinking it's 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 possible now you gotta what dudes gotta do is adapt man you gotta adapt to understanding that your value as an american now is is biggest overseas man they're not they're not gonna change nothing we had a black president an orange president you know what i mean now we gotta now we gotta now we gotta now we have a vegetables president yeah yo yo i got a question though a serious one wait no go ahead go ahead you you finish holding truth uh, I'll say one more thing. Yo, the only thing that matters, man, is where your money go, man. You got to look at – one thing I learned from Conan 19 is, man, stores shut down because they couldn't get money. But the politicians were still putting in work because they could still get money. Yep. Man, yo, yo, it's, it's the law. You want to vote, man, you vote with your money, man. Dudes – Think about it, man. Before we were born, they had Democrats and Republicans. That's over 50, 80 years, man. Name name once they got it right. Yeah, you know JF, nah, JFK had it JFK right. Nah, nah, he right. did. Look, right look, look. Did, but he, they shot him down. Uh, he, exactly. Yeah, oh. Generator did. He was going to keep that yeah, on right. the standard. Uh, realize, go ahead, bro. What's your question? All right, all right so check this, y'all. And this is just some real shit, right? Okay, so maybe I'm just bugging. Maybe I'm bugging, right? But every war that I can think of that has happened outside this country has been a war where people who have come here, we have literally gave the foreigners. It's almost like these wars are planned to give the people who come here money. Like every war, we giving these people all this fucking money after we blow their shit up, after we fuck their shit up, after we destroy their, they, you know, whatever, whatever. We give them money, right? But it seems like yeah. all of these countries that we have been to war with are the people who have come into our country seeking refuge. Maybe it's I'm so tripping. Silent. Maybe silent I'm silent. tripping. But do y'all do y'all think that I'm wrong on that? Because nope. it seems like we're paying off the people who are trying to steal our fucking land from us. All right, let me ask, can I ask a question to you then? Like, let me ask you this go question. Ahead, that's go, ahead, go ahead, go ahead. All right, go so ahead, my question is this. If, if you got two little kids and a wife, right, and you're in the middle of a fucking war zone, and and you, you see no other option than to vacate, and you have nowhere to fucking go except for get the fuck out of your country, okay? 
are you going to legally cross the border or are you going to fucking stay where you're at and fucking deal with the consequences of so the border? So are you, are you asking me? Hold on, wait, wait, because I listen, I'm trying to be clear here, God damn it, because you asking a black man from America who's from America, who's a true Amarokan, who ain't never ran nowhere, and I'm still at war in my fucking country. So no, no I ain't running no fucking where. Realize that uh-huh. he's talking about the scenario, he's talking about the scenario, let's say if it's a South American, like let's say, or, or Central American, like a Panamanian, and they have something going on there. Oh, Mexico. Like how they have the cartels and the drug trade. All those yeah, wars that yeah. go out there, would you sit inside that country and deal with it, or would you say, fuck it, I need to come to America? No, I'm saying let's take it even a step further. Say it's more yeah. like Syria or, or uh, yeah. uh, the map. I, I get all that, y'all. Right, right, right. What I'm say, saying say, is- say that your building's blown up. You ain't got a house no more, right? Like they're dropping bombs on you and your kids. You ain't going to stay and fight, bro. There ain't a man out there that ain't going to fight. Hold on, bro. Fight. Are you serious, bro? Pause, 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 hey, pause. Hey, mm-hmm. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Pause, Go ahead. Pause, you got on, it, bro. bro. I ain't arguing with you. Got it. I, I need to say this, man. Yo, King's a lion. You can't be coming through in my chat talking spicy like that and you not hitting the link, my guy. Can't be doing that shit. You can't be coming through talking spicy. You know what I'm saying? You come through with that violent shit like this. Gotta hit the link, fam. You know what I'm saying? All I'm saying, man. But but okay, let me let me be serious now. My thing about it is this. I'm, I I do understand that when it comes to Biden and it comes to, uh, I mean, the past two presidents, really, that they stood up for migration and all that other stuff. What I thought about as well, because my city does this stupid shit, um, it's also to increase the GDP. Also because of the fact yep. that, that a lot of people in certain cities don't want to work anymore or they have a hard time with employment. So they figure if we can go ahead and get the migrants who really want to come to America and live the quote unquote American dream, let's have them come in so that they could be able to work whatever jobs that we give them. And they're not going to complain because they just want a bed to sleep in. But they treat those migrations like shit. They will have Danny those Spoonies. people sit up there and 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 ride on the fucking buses from Texas because uh, Mayor Abbott or whatever his name is was like, nah, we not having these migrants stay in Texas. Kamala Harris, Bro, you going to take those people with you to Washington, D.C., or you going to take them to Delaware where you from, or the fact of the matter is you're going to tell them to go to the... Hold on, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. You going to tell them to go to the sanctuary cities? And you're going to tell them that they can go out there. And then now what? You have a bunch of these stupid ass mayors like Eric Adams in New York right now who don't know who don't know what the fuck to do about all these damn migrants that's here. And they in all these damn shelters riding around on the subway, not knowing what the hell to do. Thanks a lot, though, because you wanted them to have an American dream. That's all I'm saying. Uh, he wanted bodies, man. We all know what the migrants. That's all it was. It, it definitely them, was bodies. Man, it's about replacing bodies. us, man. Yeah, it's literally oh, about replacing us, bro. Oh, no, it ain't about that. Yo, the Democrats. Uh, you might have your own thoughts, but that's what I believe, brother. Go ahead. New York is a democratic state, and they feed on poverty, man. The way it works is the more we look poor, the more government programs we need. So you look at somebody in the subway, he dressed like any normal New Yorker, and you're like, yo, it's increased a lot of hopelessness in New York. We need more government programs and more donations to help New York so they strip more of your rights. Yeah. And, and the thing is, yo, you got to understand, you live in New York. The world wants to live in New York. Like, I was working in New York um, nightlife and mad. And I was walking and I was talking to somebody. I'm like, yo, where are you from? He's like, I'm from Poland. Everybody across the world wants real estate in New York, man. That, that's what a lot of New Yorkers going to be getting. You'll be thinking, yo, man, it's just... Some random motherfuckers moving up here, nah, dog. No, it's because people moving from all over the world. Place, dude. Like, and and the thing about it is, it's like it, the funny thing about it is, I've been seeing the up and downs in New York. How you had a lot of these companies that was leaving, and they like, yo, we gonna go to, we gonna go down south and do business. And even if you talk in tech firms, these tech firms is not staying in New York. They're going to Texas. You know what I mean? But like they they they're trying to make the new Silicon Valley, Texas, not California. You know what I'm California saying? Been dead, man. California is rotten. I mean, I, I'm right. pretty sure that y'all know. Hold, hold China. on, y'all. Hold, y'all know that yeah, Texas that, that is shit one of China. One, Texas what? is one of the independent states, bro. Like, on some real shit, do still have its own type it's of laws. Slur, but it's slowly turning blue, though. 
And that's what they're trying to do out there. Okay. Because we already understand that Texas is a red state. So they're like, yo, mm-hmm. it's going to turn, like, the more you have, more of the liberals and more of the people, you know, that's on the liberal agenda or whatever you want to call it, they're going to try to turn Texas blue. That's well, what they want to do out there. Mm. Hold hey, that thought, y'all. Hold, hold on, hold that, hold that thought, y'all, because I'm, I'm going to try to get the new people in. Brian King and King's a Lion. Brian King first. What's going on, bro? Hey, what's up, man? What's up? Hey, Brian. Hey, Brian. What's up? Hi, Hi, Kings of Lauren. Oh, what's going on, Brian? Oh, I'm good. You exiled, Lauren? What? <laughs> Sorry? Oh, she's here. Uh, you want to you wanna block this overlay? Uh, man, chill in that yeah, right You look a little shaky, Brian. I, I ain't really sure. Yeah, yeah, man. You, you, know, you know, them dudes selling that grape value cornflakes is Kellogg's. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, bro. Like, did this nigga just say the great value cornflakes? I'm not gonna lie to you, bro, because your because your voice was kind of giving it away, Brian. I'm sorry, bro. I'm not trying to. I'm sorry, bro. You sounded too cartoonish. Hey, real quick, bro. I'm I'm uh I'm a bounce. I gotta get back to work and uh get on these ladders and shit. But I just wanted to come show some respect, man, and like contribute a little bit to the conversation, Bill. Thank you so much for your input, man. I appreciate you a lot, kid. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, actually, uh, thank Exile. That's how I found you today. So uh, yeah, anyway, come you back, have a come back day. anytime, and then we'll connect. We'll connect on the um shit show or whoever else is panel, bro. I appreciate you. Yeah, no doubt. You guys be easy, man. Good talking. All right, man. Peace. Peace. Thank you for coming. Bye bye. All right. So now, now, He's Kings of Lion. Hold on, wait a minute. Kings of Lion. And and yep. yo, Brian King, write for, write something for me in the chat, bro, because you did kind of seem like you was trolling my shit. I don't know if you want to prom bomb my shit. I don't know. Yeah. Like I don't know what's going on, bro. No? No, nah, right. he won't porn bomb this shit. Brian is, King? You know Is him? he a troll? Yeah, he, he hangs out with us at the shit show. Okay. I'm okay. sorry, Brian. I was just making sure I was just like, yo. <laughs> no Cause I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> no problem. Alright, cool. Really? King's lying, what's going on, bro? Uh, you actually coming on the panel because when I said in the comment section. <laughs> yeah, I wanted you to explain why why, why did you feel like uh, the people wanted people were idiots? Like, why did you feel that way? Because uh, I hear this all the time and clean my personal life every time repeating the same thing. And that's why I say what I say. Hello? So, so people are here. Yeah, I don't know who that is with the echo. Please mute up. Oh, oh, that's me. Hold on. You got to turn it off in the background. Yeah, I, uh, uh, why is people idiots for uh, stating their opinions about stuff? That I'm kind of confused on that one. Well, because idiotic people have dumb opinions. Uh, because. Uh, because people bring because people believe a crayon box that that's the existence of a race and they don't even question it. He just they just go along with it. Don't question it. Just go along with a complete lie. That's what I mean. Okay. All right, okay. my guy. Hold on. Before y'all start off, Brian King, you seem to be a troll on this shit. That's not <laughs> you in the background. Like, bro, can you? What, come on, man. Bro, you're going to have to come up another time. I ain't got time for this shit, bro, because I don't know what the fuck is going on. It's mad fugazi. It's Wawa, bro. Like, nah, we not doing that. Because the guy is sitting up there saying you're not him in the chat right now. Do you see the chat? Why? Matter of fact, Brian, because you keep camming up in the back. Can you write something in the chat, please? No? He's staying in the back, my brother. All right, Kings and Lion, go ahead. What the fuck? Why are people want some Wawa shit? This is a good conversation, goddamn. So, Kings and Lion, go ahead. Why, why do you? What? What? What made? What made us? What made the people on the panel idiots? What? What specific conversation did you disagree oh, okay. with? Okay, let, let, let me tell you. Hold on, Let him get in. Well, you need to know the dude that was on panel was not actually Brian King, though. I know who it was. And the person in chat is probably Brian King telling you that's not him. <laughs> whatever, it, yo, whatever it is, sort that shit out. Y'all confuse me, and I ain't got time for it today. Like, nah, yo, another time, another time. Maybe I gotta see him over at Shit Show or Mike P. But um, it's still fuck shit. Anyway, hey Brian um, King, let me ask so you something, Brian King. He's not on wherever the hell you at. 
No, I said wherever the hell he at is your people's some of the motherfuckers that was still in my ancestors' name because uh King is my last <laughs> name, bro. And I swear you motherfuckers were still in our names when y'all got here. So they uh, stole everything. Caucasoids and stole everything. Uh, hey, you hear you hear what I'm talking about? You know you know me, Bronze. I'm a wild I'm a nigga, my nigga. I'm a say. I'm, I'm a, a rude nigga. The true I'm a island. Nigga. Nigga. I got the soul I'm of a Pachi in me. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That whole shit, nigga. See, they don't, they don't. Look, when I come up here, they don't even be knowing, bro. Just you know, what I'm saying, I, I come up here real subtle, but they don't know that wow, in me. We know, really we know the like vibes, that. the energy. But I, I yeah. wanted, I wanted to say the King's Alliance. So, what, what specific topic did you disagree with that made you say idiots in the chat, idiots on a pen? Yeah, what's that idiot? King. Hello. Is he alive? Hey, I wish I had the cricket song. <laughs> I know the perfect song. I know the perfect song. Listen, I know the perfect song for this. Don't don't, worry. don't you worry. Hey man, hit him with the crickets. Hit him with the crickets, cuz. I got something better. I got something better, fam. Get in. Get in. That, that was not him that came on panel. Because if you look know. right above that comment, it's, he's got an at me that says. Uh, can you hear me? You hear me, sir? Yeah, you good. Yeah. yeah. Weird. Yeah, we go, hurt. Go you you muffling okay. a little bit. Oh, oh, okay, here we go. We uh, can hear you, Karen. Uh, can I was saying, you what I was it? saying was the reason why so many times you're talking about bitch about it, why instead of say you're on their curse, they get offended because they don't understand. For one, they don't try to look into that book. Two, they just believe a lie from the government for so many years, so they don't question it. That's what I mean. And they go buy a, said, a logic from a crayon box. Wait, wait, wait. So we we talked about at least three to four topics, especially about the government. We talked about the Democratic led cities, especially uh, New York being an example with Kathy Hochul and Eric Adams. Why do I know that? Because I live in New York. Uh, we talked about Texas turning into a blue state. We talked about Biden. We talked about uh, Obama. We talked about Trump. Where in that conversation did you get the idea that we might be idiots or we we think we look at the government as something? Like, where did you get that idea? Cause I got. Oh no 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 no! no. We got some. No, like I get your point of view on politics. I get your point of politics because that's also the devil. I get that, but a lot of people don't examine that or understand that, especially our race. Mm -hmm. Most of them, not saying all, but most of them just just they just be ignorant. You could tell them something, they they just get the other way. All right, yeah, ignorant about what though? Uh, you said well, to tell them something's the truth. They get mad, like they said to say, "Oh, that's that's, oh, that's your version of truth." No, it's not. That's just the actual truth. They don't want to accept that, so they get mad. Well, but what did they say? But what did they say? Yeah, except that that satanic bloodlines they get in them positions, and that yeah. it's all by design. Of course, it's the beast. It's, oh, people it's believe the beast. that presidents actually get elected. Like, no, they don't. Mm -hmm. You don't vote for shit. You have the illusion of electing someone. It's an electoral college, and then the people are behind the, the behind the curtains that <laughs> obviously pick who the president is. Yup. So what you're saying is that they're selected, not elected. Exactly. Yes. They're selected. That's exactly what the fuck he's saying. Mm-hmm. You know, it is the, I'm sorry. Was that what you were saying, bro? My bad. I didn't. I, my bad. I didn't mean to put you out there, but that's what right. the fuck I'm right. saying. That's exactly what the Hold fuck on, I'm let me, saying. Let me address this, Brian. You said, "Listen, man, that was not me that tried to get on your panel at all. but came up and proved it was not me. I did panels for years. I'm not afraid of Karen. That was someone trolling you, Brian. That's cool, bro. But at least like <laughs> I put him in the back, so that's why it's all good. Like you know what I'm saying? Like it, it is what it is, bro. Don't yeah, worry about it. You good, fam? The way I look at it is this, man. We we trying to have conversations that you can't have offline, man. You know, you're trying to have something solid here, man. You know, yeah. and if people want to troll and do all that BS, man, we get enough of that on TV. And uh, you know, what I mean, it, it's funny yeah. how once you talk about something serious, that's when that's when people show up, man. No, uh, I'm you know I'm, I mean? I'm used to it. But, you know, my thing is, yeah, a lot of your favorite politicians and if, even if we're talking about activist leaders are selected, especially when I went over talking about uh, dudes that's affiliated with Divine Nine and that mm -hmm. whole entire thing of being related to the cross and bowl society of that 
not even of America, but a lot of the stuff that they, they was doing was shady and sitting up there lying, especially to black people about who the fuck they are. You know what I'm saying? And then sitting up there talk about they care for the people. That's all bullshit. So that's why I'm no, saying everything is a fucking game. Hey. So when hey, they Brian, sit up there, they, yeah, what's up? You you know, you know what? Hey, I got to be honest with you, man. It, look, when you talked about lying to people about who they are, right? Um, This is the age of Aquarius. You know what I'm saying? And people mm-hmm. are starting to remember what their grandmama told them. You know what I'm saying? What their great grandmama told them. And they're starting to question with what, what society told them. You know what I'm saying? And I've always been one of them people since I've been like 12 years old, bro. I've been doing this shit. So when I see other people doing it, I'm like, you know, I'm almost like a cheerleader for them. Like, hell yeah, do that shit. Because on some real shit, man, we've been taught wrong this whole goddamn entire time. And we have to uh, wipe that um, doc- that document out of our mind and think for our own selves, bro. And I see a lot of people doing that, whether they're right or wrong, at least they think it for themselves. And that's what I'm I'm grateful for is at least people think it for themselves. You ain't got to nobody got to tell you who the fuck you are, or where you come from. You, if you know, you know, goddamn. That's why when I stand in my shit and I say I'm the true, I'm a root, I'm a motherfucking, I'm a reeking, you know, like when I say that type of shit. I can stand up here and say, I don't give a damn what nobody else taught me. You can tell me that I'm from somewhere else. But if my um, if my lineage, if I can't find nothing nowhere else when it comes to my family and my lineage, then bitch, you can't put me nowhere else. So, you know, when we had these conversations, it's very important for uh, people to know who they really are, man, and, and stand on in that sport. And then motherfuckers don't like it. Uh, fuck them. You know what I'm saying? So okay. that's where I'm at with it. Yeah, I agree with you, bro. Oh, oh, you dropping some facts. The thing is, man, the way I look at it is, man, it's just a lot of people get offended when you start talking outside of that box they've been living in their whole life. I mean, especially <laughs> after what happened with, you know, Conan 19. I don't want the channel to get striked or whatever, but everybody's been taught that being an introvert, is is uh you know the safest thing you could do i mean think about it. throughout three years we, we were told you're six feet apart but stay stay one inch close to the government what they gonna tell you next you know what i'm saying <laughs> people have lost their mind man people have it's withdrawn within their own mind to where they live in the world they create and once they hear you talking like Y'all still breathe outside like you know they they come from work they lock themselves in the house man so when we talking outside of their comfort zone, people get triggered to troll or be antagonistic because you threatening the the false reality they live in, man. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm, yeah. I'm I like for I like for example, I could tell somebody, hey, this is not so on to so on so they believe Christmas, believe in this day of the the most high, and I told them it's not. It's never why they get offended. Like, oh, I don't care. You don't care. Then why why they respond because I spoke the truth. If you don't care, make it make sense. You know, people, I'm talking like I'm, I'm talking like that's real life. Yeah, if people get yeah, but people are free to believe whatever they want, man. One thing I learned is you don't argue about somebody's you know belief for their faith, man, because you haven't found a way to believe in the way they believe. They their own person, man. You know, I don't. Oh, you went that's out. why I stopped debating with people of faith, man. You know, I look at it as like. You know, what I mean, it's like if somebody tell me a politician gonna change something. I hear, I hear them believing in Santa Claus, man. You know what I'm saying? This, this shit is fictional, man. You know what I mean? They're telling you, telling you to vote, like you know, you know, like Bronzeburg knows. They still tell you vote for the mayor. Yeah, but the mayor's I'm, dream is yep. to be the senator, man, and the senator's dream is to be the governor. They all looking up. They're not looking down at the people, man. It's been over 50, 80 years, man. They've been failing since then like we had obama i look at obama as the final the final shot man we had a black president nothing you know what i mean it, it, nothing changed man i remember obama was giving a speech where he said if i change the war on drugs and if i legalize all these things that are targeting a certain group of people i'm not a president for the for the for the whole country as in he just said whatever y'all going through that ain't my problem man 
uh, and he just openly told you this is the direction the country wants. I mean, the fact that marijuana isn't legal on a government level, but you know, we got a fucking month dedicated to the rainbow. Come on, man. It's the problem pro is it still dreaming out here, man. Yo, yo, man, it's it's time, man. If my thing is, and, and one of the brothers said, yo, we need to help the community. I'm gonna ask you this question. It's a trick question. You know what I'm saying? If I'm gonna ask Bronze Bird, like if I'm late to work every day, I get fired, and you still come at me. Who's the leader? Who's the leader, man? I'm gonna ask you, Bronze. Uh, who's the leader between me and you, dog. If I always get fired, I always show up late, and you still offer me opportunities. Like you still trying to find an opportunity for me. Bronze Bird, the boss, man. Uh -huh. No, I become the leader because. Yeah. The thing is, yo, we looking to help people that don't want to be helped. The, the biggest lesson people need to learn is accept things for what it is, man. Your community don't want change. Most people just are comfortable in where they are. You got brothers dying in the hood. Like, I'm talking broken bottles everywhere. And dude bragging about he got a $100 pair of jeans. Every day. So, yeah. Yeah. Every Brother, day. you're right. You know, you, you're Every right, day. man. Um. Dude's Mama always told me, whips, but, and living the projects. What are we doing? Mama always told me you only help the people that want to be helped. That's real shit, brother. Real talk. My, my mom always told me you only help people that want to be helped. Listen, if motherfuckers out there ain't willing to help they so, why are you wasting your time to help them? I mean, like, definitely a, a true statement. Can't say it nonetheless. That's why I started learning. Most of the time I keep things to myself and because then I develop and I always say this because I develop being a misanthrope. It's one of those sort of things where it's just like, yo, I'm not going to try to convince you of shit. Either you understand exactly where I'm coming from or you don't. The choice is yours. And I'm not trying to put myself out there like I'm Mr. Know-it-all. I'm not. But the thing about it is the perspectives, a lot of things is made simple. So when you have a lot of these cats out here that just be like, yo, man, you know, uh, support black business or i don't like how they buy up the hood i hear that i have to hear from nonsense niggas every day yo this is my block check in check in i said do you know the, the jewish man that just came over to this neighborhood and bought up all those pre-war buildings that was built in the 1930s bro you man, don't own shit you don't own shit neither talk do i shit. in this neighborhood do you understand that Talking about checking in, but outside, is these niggas checking in? Yeah. You don't check shit, in. Bro. Oh, this is my block. Like, no, bro. Like, you, you, you get up own. every morning, you go to work, bro. No disrespect, we, we, man. Talk your we, fucking shit. We, like, bro, like, stop it. You not proving it. I, I, that's the shit that I hated. And they be like, oh, you broke or you, you ain't got Trump shit. Bro, you ain't got this. You ain't got that. Blah, 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 blah. And this, that, and third. I said, okay, great, bro. You got Balenciaga shoes. Congratulations, bro. I'm still going to see you take the subway like me. like that, you know checking in on blocks and shit like that, you tell them like it is. There's many men that have said them same words and they blood bled on this block just for mm. somebody else to say them words right behind them. Well, somebody, exactly. I, somebody, right, right there, somebody I'm, 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 just look, got... I'm only asking the question. What are you checking into? What are you checking in for? Nonsense. Nigga, I got a I got a life. I got two legs. I, I walk just like you do. What the fuck am I checking in? What 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 is that even about, my dude? Uh -huh. Because like you said, bro, hold on. I got to listen. You said something very motherfucking vital. You said you didn't ask this motherfucker to check in. He a billionaire type shit. Why he ain't checking in, but your brother got to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You dig what I'm saying? So yeah, this nigga yeah. ain't got to check in, but your brother got to check in. 100%. Well, I mean, it's... That makes well, no fucking sense. No, nah, it's that, yo, you don't got the complexion for the connection or the respect. The way it works, I'll give, give you an example, man. Like, I was fresh off the boat, fresh off of Haiti, whatever. When I went to school, man, I'm bringing a whole new culture. You know, the Haitian culture there, yo, I'm the one getting bullied and chased. The, the way it works in America is that the, the black American has been so mentally destroyed that they do not value any culture of anyone that looks like themselves. I mean, when I hear motherfuckers tell me, yo, the most romantic place is fucking France, Paris, and you black, and I'm like, what the fuck wrong with you? What you mean? It, it should be like the Caribbean's. Yeah. 
It should be a spot. Brother, you know black you're... means dead, right? Yeah, that's a Caribbean. No, no, I mean, it should be like a place you're from of your people, but I get it, though. The most valuable thing to a mentally destroyed black person in America is white validation. So where I'm going to say France, because France, there's still white people to validate me. I'm going to say Europe, there's still white people to validate me. I, I can't black say means Jamaica. dead, bro. No, no, I mean, I'm saying you can't um, say Jamaica or any place that looks It's like just the it. truth. Uh, black so means dead, so bro. I, we got to stop mean, calling each other black, bro. I, I know. I, but it has no I, snow. I, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, God damn it. Let me speak, let me speak my truth. Because black means dead. Mm. It means the void of any life. Mm. Any color. Black means <laughs> dead, bro. In the court of law, black means dead, bro. Mm. You not black, bro. Oh, no, you no, are no, the no, copper no. color race that these some that you seen when they hopped off the boat. We are not black, bro. We need to stop that old ass shit. I understand the black and proud and shit. I get it, bro. But we not black, bro. Oh, no, I agree with that. No, nigga, I... when I look at, listen, on some, hold on, y'all, on some real shit. When I look at myself, nigga, I'm starting to look and I'm starting to see, damn, I'm kind of red. Even my hair is kind of red. On some real shit, I'm the copper color motherfucker they seen when they got hurt. I'm not black, dog. So anybody who says that shit, you should sue the fuck out of them. For defamation of character. Because you're not black. 100%. I'm just saying, y'all, I'm not, listen, I'm not here to push nothing. I'm speaking on how the fuck I feel. And I'm saying in my own personal motherfucking space, nigga, I ain't black. Agreed. I'm uh, not. I just, I and just if wanna... you think I'm black, then motherfucker, are you are you literally blind? You gotta be blind to think I'm black. Wait, wait. I just real real quick just to jump in, just to give context. Um also quick history lesson or whatever it is. Black being dead in the eyes of the law, yes, because that also refers to civilius morticius. Yes, sir. So that yes, means yes. pretty much dead civilian. So yes. just to give yes. context to that, yeah, I know with me, like I, I can't help it. I'll say black or so called. No, I get what I, I get you know where y'all coming from. I, you, no, 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 I just no, want to put it out. But it's, it's important you brought that up, and I and I never take it away from that because you, as usual, you always bring jewels here. You know what I mean? The King of Lions, everybody. You know what I mean? Xal, Miss Mona, Greg, and all that shit. And then, and obviously, hot, hold the truth hostage. But I'm just saying for context, um, just so they understand, dead in the eyes of the law, civilius morticius, dead citizen. So that's where that shit. You literally mean nothing mm-hmm. in they law, in they mm-hmm. eyes. When you say black, it means nothing. Mm-hmm. And see, and that's why I, when I come up and I say I'm the true Amaru, you know, when I say I'm an Atanta, when I when I say I'm a true Aboriginal, that means something. I'm not gonna come up here and say I'm black, man. That shit don't make no sense to me, cause it don't it don't make you nobody. It don't make you nobody but a carcass, mm. a caucus, mm. a caucus, the 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 black caucus. Think about that shit, y'all. These motherfuckers putting this shit right in our face and we ain't doing nothing about it. The Black Caucus. What if the fuck is a caucus? What What, what is a caucus? Sure, sure. Shield of a tire. Is it not dead? Is it not dead? I want to see something. Is it because I caucus not dead? All right, just finish a real life so that King's alive. No, go ahead. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to uh, talk with the brothers now. Y'all go ahead. Y'all right. got it. King's line, go ahead. Yeah, because when people say black, that's actually a curse. And people don't realize that because they don't pay no attention. They just go by what they hear. And start to question it, just like he said. Question it. Don't sit there and just believe it. Question <laughs> it. Question it and see why they say what they say that. Because it's nothing more than a lie. Mm. I mean, come on now. It's common sense. Uh, no, he dropped, he dropped facts. I mean... I said they've trained people to ignore even the color. I mean, you look at, like you say, you look at your skin, ain't nothing, uh, you know, a tire, tire black like it, but it's the training. They've trained so many people to be lost. And to me, 
like you know, one thing a lot of brothers be saying, yo, we black, we ahead of the, we ahead of the things, we 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 in the future. But you got brothers telling other people to identify as black when they they were taught that in America. Like they, you got the whole issue with the Dominicans and other races, groups of people that say, yo, I'm from here, bro. I ain't, I'm not black. I'm, I'm no Dominican. Black. I'm Haitian. <laughs> I'm Indian. You, you know, know what I mean? Black. They've been, you've been well, a lot of people been well trained, man. No and the way man. I look at it is that, yo, man, we seen it with the Obama presidency. We seen it all, man. I, I seen people get beat up or chipped up by their family because they ain't vote the way somebody want. Yo, people are lost now, man. The religion now is your politics, your, your gender. All We got motherfuckers in the street celebrating that they could call themselves and identify as a gender. I mean, nothing changed with, with the community where you live or nothing like that. It's about I'm protesting to identify as a as a fucking sea bear or whatever the fuck they <laughs> identifying as. You know what I mean? And, and people bringing up family, I'm going to tell you this, man. The, there ain't no such thing as a nuclear family and all that crap. The government made that illegal in 69, man. And the whole nuclear family itself... Mm -hmm. It's poison. Like, wh why do you want me to? Why do you want my kids not to have access to their grandparents, their cousins, their uncles? Why, why do you want it to be just the mom and the dad? Because you want the mom and dad going to work, so you get access to their children instead of their That's grandparents. Instead of their grandparents training them, teaching them. We're not in a nation of family. Like I was talking to one of my boys, and we realized. Think about it, yo. We got Father's Day. We got a day for fathers, a day for mothers, but we don't got a month towards family. But we got a month towards you identifying as, you know, in the rainbow or whatever it is. Like, think about it. You live in a country where they would rather celebrate a whole There's no family month? No, there ain't no family no, month. No family you got a whole month. No, you you right about that, bro. I never thought about that, but uh, keep going, keep going, because you, you cook. You got a whole month dedicated to the rainbow, but you got a day for dad. A day for mom and not one month dedicated to the family. That's that's for family. That's real wants. shit, bro. The government that's real wants shit. us to sacrifice. Like, like the government, I tell brothers this, man. We don't live in a government. In my eyes, we live in a god for man. It's kind of like the Mayans. You know how they had the whole photo of the Mayans were sacrificing healthy people. That's how this government works. If Bronzeburg comes out now, I tell people, like even on my channel, I tell people, warning: this is a heterosexual male channel because. We gotta warn motherfuckers that we're straight. You know what I mean? Or or they coming at you. It's it's become sacrifice the healthy. They're coming after your kids. It's about sacrificing the healthy to funnel and feed the government. Because the way the government works is that if you live in a state of chaos, you ain't gonna care about who you elect. You don't you don't care who they are, if they prove themselves, if they got any standards. We gotta keep you in a state of chaos. Think about it. We got motherfuckers voting that identifies a gender or some eagle or a bird. Like, how are you sane enough to vote? <laughs> no. Come on, man. Yo, it's it's done, man. It's it's all about control. They want control. They're gonna let you depend on them. Uh, 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 no, it ain't even about control no more, man. It's about keeping you in a state of chaos. So you could drive yourself off that hill, man. That's that's how it works. Get you crazy enough so you can just drive off the hill, off the cliff. And be hey, I'm a, I'm gonna jump. I'm I'm about to jump down, y'all. Hey, but I'm gonna say this. On some real shit, it's all about keeping your motherfucking ass docile. It's about keeping you docile because if you ever realize or remember how strong you are, Simba. You a lion. They have made you a sheep. They have made you a sheep by giving you religion, by uh, giving you schooling. You have been indoctrinated with that. And if you ever became the lion that you always were, they're afraid that you may just jump and attack. Hold on, hold on just one second, because I'm about to jump down, y'all, I swear. I just want to um get this out. But for real, yo. If you remember who you are, that's what they're afraid of. And they're seeing a lot of us wake up in droves, in, in big masses, right? So anybody 
who's doing anything to say anything about what's going on. They're trying to censor them. They send around trolls. They send around people who's going to try to um, um, direct your crowd from what you're speaking on or what you're, what you're teaching on. So just be vigilant, man. Stay dangerous in what we're doing because they can't stop this, bro. When I when I say that this is something that's bigger than anything that we have ever done, as us raising up as a people and realizing who we are and remembering who we are, bro, no one can stop this shit, but they're trying to. I just want people to see that they're really yeah. trying to stop this. And we have to be stronger and we have to stand up stronger to uh, what they're trying to do to stop it. That's all I got to say. I love y'all, man. No, I'm love, man. respect, and salute. Yeah. Yeah. It felt like lying. singing a Lion King song. Oh, oh, we move we nah, but that's we real, though. We that's real, though. We Remember we who you are, Simba. Yeah. 100%. We move we. You ain't lying because, yo, right. the thing is, it's about to get worse, man. You, you know is. what I mean? These trolls, the thing is, man, YouTube has learned we don't want y'all to leave here. So what we going to do is send in some bots. Like, you know what I mean? The technology shit I've seen pretty soon, man. <sighs> nothing. You won't even trust what you say anymore because I've seen some shit where they dub or edit what you said live. Like, shit is, people yeah. don't get it, man. Your yeah. mind, like, you won't be, soon you won't have the freedom to think because what happens when you don't even trust your own words, man? It's done. Once they've kidnapped your mind and your voice, it's over, man. You know what I'm saying? It's you become over. you become like those TikTok um, people that <laughs> that act like they NPCs. You ever seen that? Hold the truth. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah, you become like them. Um, total humanoid, like control. Oh yeah, oh yo, it's and people will justify it and say, "Yo, man." I'm living up to my true potential because the thing is this, man. A lot of people don't get what's going on, man. People here are talking from different cultures, different ethnicity, different timelines, all that, man. And it's, and they want to break it up because this panel right here represents the true foundation of America. It's just a bunch of strangers in the same place chopping it up, man. They've been trying to divide Americans and anybody who comes here forever, yo man, hate Bronzeburg because he ain't part of your religion, man. Hate, hate, hate blue, hate the, you know, what I mean, King Lion because he he don't like chocolate chip cookies and you a Oreo dude, yo. They find so many shit. ways to divide motherfuckers, man, and the people don't even get it. It's all about divisionary tactics, man. The the sooner they divide you, the sooner they can uh, keep you from saying or uniting people or saying something. That's about thinking. The last thing they want, one thing, I don't know about y'all, I was telling Bronze Bird this, around Jersey, they had a motherfucker driving a pickup truck with a loudspeaker saying, stay home, six feet apart. That's how they tamed everybody. They literally tamed everybody with a dude in a truck and a loudspeaker saying, stay home. They've already right. tested and seen how docile, how weak, as long as people got their phones and they could door dash, they could Uber Eats, man, we could take every last right from them ever, man. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And they'll be satisfied. They've realized that the the current consumer is willing has sacrificed everything. I mean, we in the block where we live where I remember somebody asked me, Yo, somebody died on the block, man. Oh man, he lost a life. I'm like, You ain't lose nothing. Every day I saw him, he was telling me what's worth more than his life. His pants, his clothes, his song, his block. What was his life ever worth? It was worth nothing. You know what I'm saying? So, And what they fear is they fear guys like us saying, yo, I accept shit for what it is, and I'm going to keep it pushing. I'm not going to fall into the, the false battles for freedom, the false false vote for this. Let me Let me go riot and all this crap. It ain't doing nothing, man. The only change that matters is in your pocket, man. It's in your wallet. It's in your pocket. That's that's the only change I can believe in. Any any other thing about speeches and all that other bullshit, it didn't work with Martin Luther King. It didn't work. Abraham Lincoln was, you know what I mean? Look at Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> he got he he was the first victim of lacking. You know what I'm saying? Mm, right. <laughs> <laughs> 
know what I mean? Uh, you know, you know I mean? Guy named Booth shot him in the back of the head. Oh, I wanna. Oh, I I wanna say something about the Bar- Bar- King. Yeah, he spoke the truth. He know what was going on about who the truth was, but also he sold out. I'm, I'm just gonna keep it one hundred because I have it on my channel. Uh, uh, Martin Luther King was a plant. They planted him because they said people. It was all about changing the talk. It wasn't about eating in the same restaurant, man. No black people care about eating in a white restaurant or. It was about, yo, I pay taxes. Why is my tax money funding a water fountain I can't drink in? It was about taxation. Then they planted Martin Luther King to make it this, we are the world. You know, we are we the, are the children. children. Like, think about, yo, yo, remember, um, I forget his name. He got his ass whooped in L.A., man. Uh, what Rodney King. Yeah, Rodney King got stopped. And yeah, guess what man. they told him? Rodney, man. We need to remind people about love. Well, what the fuck? You yeah, in 1992, have... you just sat up there and said, can we all just get along? I said, fuck yeah. that, bro. Get like, you going to sit up there and tell the people, you like, you know, after you you got beat down by cops on some racist shit? Yeah. Remember, yeah. LA, LA at that time was, was really, bad. really fucking bad, yo. Like racism out the out the galore because then you even had black the so called black people that was going against the Koreans, mm-hmm. shooting up shit and because they killed a, a, a so called black girl over something I forgot accused of stealing, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? So, sure. but when you talking about Martin Luther King, yeah, he was a plant. You know what I'm saying? Plant, it, yeah. You know it, the thing about it is we understood exactly what he was really about. The so-called black man that came through was talking about integration and blah 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 and the standard uh, third but at the same time he did not want to marry coretta uh, scott king oops uh, um uh, he actually wanted to be in a relationship with a so-called white woman uh, uh, <laughs> let, me, let me think let me ask what you think was was martin luther king the prototype for obama you know Ooh, what i'm saying think about like that. that was martin yeah. luther king the prototype yeah. for barack obama like he yeah. was he was think about how Obama ran with change. We believe in it was all about distracting people from the economics, the law. Was Mar- was was old Barack Obama the sequel to to yes. Martin Luther King? Right? That's deep. You know what I mean? That's deep. Like, you know, yeah. we don't speak on that. You know what I mean? Because uh, because yo, I think the Democrats. I was topping it up with my man. Is that I think the Democrats fucked up, man. Obama should have been the VP. They, the Democrats' biggest selling point was, hey, blacks, hey, Mexicans, hey, brown, black, yellow. We the only party that's going to get you on the White House. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And that right. hope got mad blacks to ignore everything, the Mexicans to ignore everything. You know, they're the only ones. And then they got Obama in there. And Obama ain't even legalized weed or stop the, the, the racism. He ain't do nothing. Obama ain't literally no said, thing. if I do this, I'm not for America. He looked in the camera and said, yo, if I do all this, I'm going to be for your minorities and blacks. I'm not a minority, only president. He just I'm paved for, the I'm way for the rainbows. Thing. That's what he yeah, did. Right. You know what right. I mean? And now you, now you got this this joke Biden coming out there, um, having this this person, Dylan Mulvaney, sitting up there talking about, oh, womanhood and all this other stuff. I, I can't. I, I can't. Oh. And that's the reason. I, I know women are strong. But like it just be crazy when they say, "Oh, a womanhood." I know what a woman is like. It's like, you no, you don't, bitch. Like, <laughs> that's like telling Miss Mona, "Like, I've done 365 days of womanhood." Like, uh, no, she's been a woman her uh, whole life. No, like, what the fuck are you talking about? What are you talking about, there, young fella? Huh? Yeah. No, no, yo, they're trying to sell the 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 thing with the tranny thing is, man, they've been training a lot of women. Don't know that they've been training women. For, for to replace themselves like all the, a lot of women think all the bbls butt lifts fake breasts mm-hmm. and all that they thought they were better in themselves no they were training you to advertise <laughs> what dudes should be comfortable with it now you got these trannies doing the same shit and then they train the women to not have children at an early age when they're fertile is safer for them so they could end up it's a struggle to have kids they were they've been trying to defertilize and basically make women like an artificial male they're trying to position women in a position where you can't have kids or nothing like that and now they're trying to replace the women with these these trannies and all that bullshit man it's it's all about you know destroying the man and they got all women saying openly 
I don't want no man and all that. If you don't want no man, then you want the government. And look at what the government's doing. They're drugging up your kids in school. Like, yo, in Jersey, they were giving kids artificial heroin for sports injuries. They were giving them artificial meth for like a, you know what I mean? Like he tore his MCL. They gave him artificial meth. You know what I mean? So, so this is what they've trained women to. It's empowerment to remove a man and someone that could support and protect you from the government structure. You know what I'm saying? It's right. And that's why all this rainbow shit, Obama, I remember when Obama, I saw it. Remember that dude that it was a professor. He couldn't get in his house and the cops was locking him up and Obama made him drink a beer with the cop that locked him up. Obama was like, yo man, I know this cop wouldn't let you home, but come to the White House and drink a beer with me. Basically saying, you wouldn't be in this White House if you weren't assaulted for racial issues and all that. You know what I mean? It's We're no longer in a country of of change and all that. Change should have happened in the 50s, 40s. We, we passed that, man. It's about accepting the reality we in, man. And, and that's why they look at us. They're going to say, we pessimistic. We giving up. No, I ain't giving up, man. Just I've accept accepted the that. Yeah, dude, they, they want us to be, you know, that meme where that dude in the burning house saying everything's fine? Right. That's what they want you to be. Like, yo, the, the <laughs> politicians really got, they really want to help us and change things. When? They're bad in average. Like, you know what I mean? Like, what's oh, the point? Never. It's never, man. It's never changed. You got a black president. I think more blacks died under Obama. Like, when I when Trump was president, I ain't see as many no, blacks on TV every day getting shot and put... You know what I'm saying? Put to sleep. You know what I mean? That's crazy. That I got a, a, a more better memory of a, a an orange white dude as president than when I had a black president. And uh, every few days, a black dude got shot for this. Black dude got shot. A black dude got shot because he wanted to mix his his rice krispies, the white rice krispies, with the cocoa krispies. He got shot. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> How dare you mix white rice krispies with cocoa rice krispies? <laughs> it was crazy, man. You know I mean? <sighs> Go on, bro. Sorry, my bad. Nah, you good, man. You just it's speaking facts. It's just the world we live in, and it's just like you know, um, applying it's it like to the whole, applying it to the whole entire like uh, you know our realm, like the black pill experience or whatever, and like. That's why I say like a lot of the stuff that we're seeing on these networks now is like real big distractions where they just want you to get involved in this whole entire oh well relationships and work hard and blah 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 and it's like it's deflecting from reality, bro. Like you think it's, it's like, like like the thing about it is when you have the fucking incel culture that already tells you uh trans maxing is good and it's like, wait a minute. So you mean to tell me as a man, because life has hit you hard? life hits you hard you like oh let me become a tranny like well, what the fuck are we doing here and then you know obvious the obvious things like dealing with the politics in the world and 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 something probably a video i'll do in the future uh about how a lot of men is quitting the workforce uh wages is shit and the fact of the matter is it's only gonna get worse from there like it's cool like my friend sitting up there telling me and i'm not knocking him but my friend sitting up there telling me men wage in new york city is 15 dollars an hour now you live in New York. How could you survive for fifteen dollars an hour? You and it's like your oh, job fifteen to sixteen, right? And and it's like only getting paid like four hundred a week or four hundred every two weeks. Like, that's the thing. Like a lot of this stuff that's going on in society is just like, yo, open your fucking eyes to certain things that's going on out here. Because y'all can go ahead and rally about this liberal shit, get mad because Nick Fuentes says some fuck shit or something like that, blah, blah, blah. Or you don't want Trump back in office. And then, you know what is amazing about this, too? It's funny seeing how people have uh, now these mixed reviews about Biden. But then before, when they were sitting up there talking about get your booty to the polls and all that fuck shit, they were sitting up there talking about, oh, yeah, just vote for the lesser of two evils. Huh? So... Knowing that Biden had a presidential, excuse me, had a political tenure since 1974 and y'all got at Trump because he was never a president or was involved in politics as an official politician. Mm -hmm. You want me to decide with someone who already said you ain't black, which 
understandably, because we already said it on this panel today, we yes. understand exactly what Joe Biden was saying. So that's where I'm like, tell me to vote for the lesser of two evils, my ass. Like, I'm not, fuck you. I didn't vote. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's a choice between vomit or diarrhea, man. You know what I mean? That, that, <laughs> lesser, that lesser evil shit, like, yo, man, I ain't choosing none of them. And you know what I mean? And Biden literally was the one who created that that criminal act law. I was talking to somebody. 1994 crime bill, right? Yeah, it is, brother. The crime bill. He created the crime bill that locked up all these American people, man. And and that's who we vote in. Vote in the guy that literally gave people. Destroys money. everything. Oh, destroyed the family. Oh, if you sell crack, you get more time than somebody who sells coke. You know what I mean? It was basically if you can't afford to sell coke, you do more time. Man, that's that's what the, that's what he was passing, man. And this is your president. And then then you had Hillary because because they know when they they know when they playing a a particular group of people. Hillary Clinton bringing hot sauce to an interview. You know what I'm saying? Having fucking um, what's that chick? That stripper. You know what I mean? When it comes to to the to the you know, I'm just using the black American or Negro Cardi B or somebody. I don't know who it was. Cardi B was interviewing the future president. This is what they think of you. They say you motherfuckers are so driven by when Dior, Balenciaga, and all this bullshit. You're so we fucked up your community so much. We could have a stripper and a hooker represent y'all. They they were interviewing fucking Cardi B who couldn't who can't even spell Nova Scotia. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? That's who they had represent. Well, in the black representative, a former stripper and a hooker, Party B. You know what I'm saying? Interview Joe Biden. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. This, you know what I mean? This is what they think of you, man. And you got, I got blacks and other people tell me, but man, they we's going. That's why I bring that slavery voice. We's going to change things. You got to vote votes for the right persons. I'm like, dog. You know it I mean? ain't working. It ain't working. Like, and 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 the thing is, like Bronzeberg brought up the money thing is that yo, what I learned is this, man. We in a new age, man. The new age is yo, make money to where you can move and maneuver. Like, you know what I mean? 15, 20 an hour. Don't don't seek to buy the house. You only buy a house if you're about to make money off of it. We in the age where, like, I went to Texas, I was renting a room for 500 and I was in the suburbs. I'm talking about the suburbs where they got a pond and turtles. I was in the super suburbs for five hundred dollars a month. The American dream is no longer about, you know, what I'm saying you owning your house or your apartment. It's about yo, I'm living wherever the best job and the best opportunity is at. I, I could give a fuck about being a hometown hero and all that bullshit. It don't mean nothing. We're at the moment where yo, I rent this room and this crib. You know what I mean? I got a call to go to India, Indiana. They offering to pay me three times more. I'm gone. You know what I mean? It's no longer about setting your roots in one place anymore. It's about being mobile and being able to say they want to put their middle finger at me. You want to put your middle finger at me? You won't give me higher raise, higher income. I'm gone. Like A lot of American people don't know there's a job shortage. There's a lot of Americans no longer working as hard or doing stuff because they realize the game. They like, yo, man, fuck you, man. I'm not gonna be working for 20 or whatever an hour while you you paying me slave wages. You just gave the CEO over two times, over 200 times my my pay. You know what? I'm only working half time from now on. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna rent a little room and chill the fuck out. I'm gonna live the American dream too. I'm gonna show you that I know how to play the game too, man. I'm not gonna do what my father and them did before me. They they worked themselves to death. To retire before they had a heart attack. Come on, man. It's 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 changed, man. And they don't want us to live in present time. You know, that's why I told one. I had one of my white homies I was talking to, and I told him, "Yo, I'm tired of living in 1950s, 1960s, man. That's all they bring up: race, this, this, that. Yo, fuck that, man. I'm in the year 2023, man. Talk to me about the year 2023. Don't bring up Martin Luther King." Don't bring up Malcolm X. Don't bring up none of that past shit, man. Talk to me about what's going on right here, right now. You know what I'm saying? And don't try that cliche. Well, if you know the past, we won't repeat what's in the present. No, motherfucker. If you're not aware of what's happening in the present, you will repeat whatever the fuck's going to happen. 
You know what I'm saying? If I see a house burning or a corrupt politician in the now, and I'm still voting for the motherfucker, then what you think gonna happen? You know what I'm saying? They always try to manipulate us to look away from the present. Look to the past. Look at what Martin Luther King did. He failed. You know what I'm saying? Martin Luther King failed. Malcolm X failed. You know what I'm saying? Lincoln failed. Yo, the L's keep piling up. They don't want us to have the balls to say a motherfucker failed because, oh, man, that's that's a black idol. That's Martin Luther King. That's Malcolm X. He failed. Barack Obama, he failed, man. I don't give a fuck if he ran with change we could believe in, man. He failed. Barack Obama's daughter, if she's in a car right now and a, tra and a state trooper pulls her over and he doesn't recognize her, she getting popped. She getting popped, man. This this is Obama's legacy, man. That if your daughter ain't recognized, she she gonna be a victim on uh on 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 you know what I'm saying channel seven. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is what's going on. Yeah, yeah, go on, man. My bad. Got got caught up. <laughs> yeah, go on, Bronzeburg. My bad. Hey, y'all good, man. My bad. Oh, hello? Yo, y'all hear me? Yo? Damn. Can I get a one in the chat if y'all can hear me? Can you hear me? H H T H T T H. Can y'all hear me? I can hear you. Okay, cool, cool. Yo, um... We just thank you, Miss Mona. Uh, we just hit the two hour mark. I I was just wanted to make the panel short, but H T T H, thanks for dropping jewels, my man. Um, I need you. I need. I'm gonna hit you up soon because I I want you for a future show. Um, probably like two. You already know. We gonna chop it up. Um, yeah, for sure. But thanks for your words of wisdom, brother. I appreciate you. Um, I'm about to shut down because there's a panel that comes on at eight. Um, and all that other stuff. So we gonna chop it up soon, bro. Out, Thank man. you for coming, my man. Always, Brown Jerk. Peace out, man. Yo, I was about to say, when the other bird dude came, man, it became like a Dipset album of <laughs> <laughs> Diplomatic <laughs> community. Yeah. <laughs> Word. Like, that's how I was feeling. I was like, yes, yo. Oh, Dipset, 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 <laughs> Dipset. <laughs> Aight. <Dip set>. So, <laughs> Word. Yo, we going to chop it up soon, man. For real, for real. Got it? All right. And we here. The last two. Miss Mona Bronzeburg. Yeah. You know I mean? yeah. Yeah, it's all good. Um, thanks to everybody who came through. It's always fucking led to Brownstone Power. That's why I felt great about it. I had my um, it's lit, lit. It was lit in it. It was, it was lit in it. Yeah. It was lit uh, in it. In it, it my yeah. brethren. My brethren. You're boom, boom, boom. blood. You're a blood. So you know. <laughs> So, you know, shout out to the fact that I just had my red stripes. You know what I'm saying? Red stripes. I red hate stripes beer. Like beer? Yeah. yeah. Red stripes beer. You know that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. right? So you it was, like it was it? tight lit. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, mm -hmm. you gotta pass that next time. You know what I'm saying? Make yeah. it twice. Make it twice as nice. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Right. Got you. Got me. You got me. I got you. All right, yeah. Word, word, word. So that's what's up. Yo, uh, yo, check it out, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Thanks to everybody that came through tonight. You know what I'm saying? This evening in the motherfucking chat uh, on the panel. Y'all y'all know what I love to do before I get out of here. I love to play music. Um, thank you for coming on through for this special brownstone powwow. Not really special, but we're going to be back next week. Expect more what, videos. Um, listen to what Josh Watson says. What's up? Then starts a Discord. A brown bear and sign. I agree with you, Josh. Damn, I yo, thank you for reminding me, bro. Cause I fucking Discord, like, I don't, I I need to use it more, cause I don't be using it. Miss Mona, you got Discord? Um, yeah, I do. You you got Discord? Of course. That's like the trolls even. I didn't even know you had Discord. I'm disappointed. Yeah. You you didn't tell me you had Discord. We gonna fight about that. It's all good though. Okay. <laughs> you just don't even care. He's like, okay. All right. All right. Okay. 
Yo, Josh, I think I seen you on Discord. Let me hold on before I do all this shit. Let me show I mean, I I can. Look at what Chris says. Chris says he's sounding like one of them sexy chat phone workers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just saying though. <laughs> yeah. no. Peace, peace to you, Chris. I'm like the little Barry White. You know what I'm saying? Um. Mary Poppins, here Barry White and Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins, yeah. Do, do, do. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> <laughs> Another one bites the dust. Do, do, do. Another one bites the dust. I don't, okay. yo, this yeah. too, I don't know how the fuck this Discord shit works. You don't know how to use it. No. I don't know either, but I can teach you. Please do you want to learn? Me. Yes. Do you want to learn? Yes, I do. Okay, so take down your trust in it. Wait, what does trouser substitute? Yo, <laughs> yo, Josh, matter of fact, just I'll probably message you through uh, Tyranny's Discord and their Discord because I don't know how to fuck to do this, this the Discord shit. Um, I'll just we'll we'll chop it up from there, son. And then you can add me through there. I'll set up everything. You know what I'm saying? It's not it's not getting hot, yo. It's just we, we, this is what mm. we do. You know what I'm saying? This is what we do. It's getting hot in here. So, so we take, take off all, all your clothes. clothes. I, I am getting so hot. Clothes. I want to take my clothes off. You know what I'm saying? So why don't you take your clothes off? And then you should also, you know what? You should take your clothes off and put the webcam on. Well, that's after the show, Miss Mona. That's a private issue. You know what I'm saying? I can but take it's... my clothes off. Oh, that's right. But um, shout out to this. I'm about to play one of my favorite songs. Loving you so right. Okay. Um, it's loving you. See his toes. You know that song. Yeah, Miss Mona, Miss Mona know how to sing on the low. She know that shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, she be singing low key, yo. So, no, I haven't been. Yo, stop capping. Stop capping, yo. I haven't. Oh my god, no. Don't be able to. Nah, real, real shit. Yeah. We, we about to, we about to pack up. We about to play like two okay. jams, and then you know, okay. Miss Mona obviously stand back. You know what I'm saying? So, so what? Or, you, you know what it is. The after show. After the show, it's the after party. And after the after after party, party, it's the hotel lobby. Okay. You know, you know Um, what to do. You know what to do. So, so check it out, yo. Um, thank you for coming through to the Brownstone Powwow. Like I said, I'm gonna play some mm -hmm. music, and we gonna be out. Peace. Peace.